All righty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, now that I'm looking at this uh, yellow version of the background, I don't really like it. Give me, give me, give me, give me one moment. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset that. Put it to you know normal, black and blue all the way. Is it just me or is the audio like completely non-existent? There it goes. Very low. Are there any other colors for the uh, background? Literally the entire like rainbow spectrum. Like I can make it like change color at a whim. All I do is adjust the values. And it can go from red all the way back through to red on the other side. So, like, green looks all right. Like, I could rock with this for, like, a green-like game. But I was trying to do, like, a gold or orange around this. Actually, it's a little better now. Maybe I just had it at a bad value before. This actually isn't as bad. Like, this kind of fits. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, what's up, players? Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards for the Game Boy Advance. This was a request from Neo Samurai Guy. Because, as some of you know, I started up on YouTube again fully, 100%. No more Twitch, at least for the time being. Um, I got a full-time job, and now I'm trying to get back into part-time YouTube. So, this is just a request from Neo Samurai Guy as a Tier 5 member. That's why, in the title, it's called A Very Best Request. If you become a member on the channel, there's five different tier lists that run from Trainer to the very best. One of the perks of being the very best is being able to force me to make any video or live stream of any game or topic in general that that person chooses. So we had a brief discussion. Samurai Guy just wanted a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Then Seth wanted a Dragon Ball Z game. So after a brief discussion with both of them, we landed on Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. And then either next week or the week after that, depending on my own personal schedule, we will try to do Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1. If I do other games in the series, either one, okay. But these were basically forced upon me. So whether or not I was planning on doing these later on, I am now forced to do them now. Forced to make any content, the evil laugh saga begins. Don, you are not about to become a tier five member, fam. There's no way. I, I, I don't believe you. But then again, Don might be that guy to go, well, since I can't gift members yet, boom. <laughs> and become a tier five on the spot. You never know. You never know. But I doubt it. Do it. Oh, God. <laughs> You should make a play Sonic 06. Don't be assholes, chat. <laughs> Don't be assholes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the game, but before I get too far, uh, just let me know how the audio is because of the first time I'm streaming a Game Boy Advance game. So on my end, it may sound perfect, but for you guys, the balance may not be. So go ahead and just let me know, okay? Like, this should be a good, like, estimate right here where the volume should be for the rest of the game. I'm going to go ahead and just put my regular name. Well, you know, short form, because I can't go all the way to Jonathan. 100% Final Fantasy 10. Oh, good Lord. Mark my words, John, one day. Oh, no, it's, it's perfect. Okay, great. And uh, no, this is not a speed run. However, I do know the speed run strat. Okay. I, I'll explain it later on. This is going to be a casual playthrough. 
I'm going to try to have some fun with it. Maybe use some cards that I'm not used to using because this game kind of is straightforward. But there's a certain part of the game where I'm going to acknowledge the speedrun tactic and how it kind of ruins the game. Like, it turns into how fast can you manipulate RNG? Th that's all it is. I don't know the exact intricacies of the RNG manipulation, but I know what's going on and what the purpose is. So I'll talk about that when we get there, don't you worry. But it's so dumb. But uh, farming dual machine for money? Maybe? Question mark. Maybe. It depends on how I feel as I progress through the game, if I feel like I'm not doing well enough and I actually need to get some money for better cards and stuff. Maybe. But at the moment, I don't think so. Wait, before I become a member, eventually I will figure out the game and plan. It must all be perfect. <laughs> I'm scared. Alright, so... The... The Battle City Tournament is today, John. I am not doing no freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge voices. I can't do them. Good morning, John. Have you made your deck? I can't do you. I can do some Dragon Ball Z. I could not do Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. All I know is... Nah. Hey. My new dude deck. <laughs> my new deck is something special. <laughs> Brooklyn Rage. I don't know how to do any of these voices, so I'm not even going to bother. John, did you put together a new deck? Uh, no. I suck. Huh? Are you kidding me? You better get it together. There's still time. Make it stronger as you battle. Okay, let's get don't let's get going. Don't want to be late. Uh, so here's the weird thing about this game. This follows the exact story of season two and I guess technically season three of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime where you go through battle city and you're trying to obtain the three egyptian god cards and stop maverick's plans from world domination and then you save the world the problem is yugi is not the protagonist you are you are a made-up character meant to play the game and duel your favorite duelist including yugi slash the pharaoh so, yeah, you're going through the story, and it's rewritten so that you're the hero, and it's kind of weird. It's like, let me explain the tournament's rules. The tournament takes place throughout Domino City. Wherever duelists meet in the city, that shall be where the duels take place. Duelists may play using only their own decks. The loser must turn over one rare card to the victor. Eight winning duelists will enter the final round. The final stage is hidden somewhere in town. Each of you duelists has received a locator card. You must defeat others and get their locator cards. When you have gathered six locator cards, you will have the map to the final duel stage. You may duel, wait, you may duel with those puzzle cards at stake. In other words, only those who win duels and obtain the six locator cards will earn the right to get up on stage for the finals. The tournament commences at 9 a.m. sharp. Now, fellow duelists, scatter throughout Battle City. It's finally starting. Yeah, you bet. Even us, we're rivals from now on. Try to hang in there to the end, Yugi and John. I mean, his name is Joey instead of Jonochi, so I mean, it's whatever. Don't get caught careless. Joey, I think you should be careful yourself. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once you've collected all the cards, let's meet up. We should get together at my grandpa's toy shop. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. All right, I'm off. Both of you, don't lose until the finals. See ya. So. They don't actually explain this to you from Jump, and I remember as a kid being so lost and confused. Even at the very beginning. Like, we should go win some cards too. They don't explain to you actually how to play the game. So I'm going to go ahead and just pause the menu real quick. So you'll see here, you have a deck capacity, a duelist level, 
And then at the bottom, you have your money, which is just domino. That's the currency. The higher the duelist level, the higher level cards you can put in your deck. And then the level of the cards determines... Well, I'm sorry. The deck capacity determines how the level of the cards can be added up. And you cannot cross your deck capacity level. So if you're too low level, you might not even be able to use certain cards. The game just won't allow you to use them. That's how they make sure you're not overpowered without like actually playing through the game and leveling up. And then beyond that, they don't even tell you how to go through the beginning. You're not supposed to talk to Yugi. You're supposed to try to challenge Yugi to a duel by pressing R. It's not nine o'clock yet, John. I should be going too. Go for it, John. So at this point, the idea, while I crack my back, ah, oh, that felt great. Ah, oh, that felt amazing. So, you need to go to all the main characters and side characters, not the background characters, and try to duel them so that they move on so that you could actually start the beginning of the game. You were with Joey Wheeler earlier, weren't you? Tell him I said hi. My name's Mai. <gasps> Bars! Okay. I'm going to prove I'm the best duelist here. I'm going to take this tournament. Just watch. And I'm taking down Wheeler and Yugi. F you, F you, F you, F you, F you, F you, F you. <laughs> no, F you. Whoa, slow down, baby. I, I was playing. I was playing. I was playing. I was playing. No, no. I, 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 the peace. Peace. I'm good. No touch. <laughs> I'll take you on if the opportunity arises. I, 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 okay. Moving on. And then we got Mako Tsunami. I lost against Yugi and them at Duel Kingdom. It's Duel List Kingdom, but eh. But not this time. I'm taking the prize money and buying a boat. I won't let anyone get in my way. Let's go, Freaky Fish Guy. Wait, wait, it's not time yet. We'll meet again somewhere in Battle City, bro. I'm not your bro. What up, Weevil? You were chumming around with Yugi, weren't you? You tell Yugi this. I'm going to beat you, but good this time. H-Y-O, 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 H-Y-O. H-Y-O, 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 H-Y-O. Aren't you impatient? The tournament hasn't even started. We'll feast on you the next time we meet. H-Y-O, 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 H-Y-O. I don't know why Weevil even has a posse after being eliminated immediately in Duelist Kingdom. Like, eh. And then you got the freakiest gathering of pixels ever on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. This tournament, I'll show them. I'll keep winning and humiliate everyone. My ghost deck will spell doom to their hopes. Hi, hi, hi. I hate bright places like this. I'll be waiting for you somewhere dark. Until then. Some place dark is literally the exact opposite way of where he went. Like, instead of that way, he should have gone like that way and that way. But, eh. He'll figure it out. And, uh, you look like you belong in some kind of, like, Naruto universe. Guess what? I saw Weevil Underwood. He's the former Japanese champion. There are other famous duelists here, too. A whole bunch of them. I'm getting stoked over this. Okay, guy, number one, I already challenged Weevil, and he pussied out. Number two, you're literally, like, you, you just kissed the hair of the runner-up of that same tournament that you're just, like, gawgawing after, and you're not even gonna... Okay. Sure, but wait. I'll duel when the time comes. But I don't duel anyone who's too uncool. It'd be a waste of time. <laughs> they all scurried off into the town. 
but I'm making my stand right here. My loud and proud dinosaur deck isn't for hiding. Sneaking around isn't right for it at all. Well, with all that, the idea is you come back to the clock tower after challenging all the main characters and then leave. How random of a way is this to start the game? Challenge everyone before the tournament starts, then go back to almost start and then try leaving again. How many people grew up with this game and got stuck with this the first time? Because I definitely did. But now, like, the game is super easy. Now that I know what the hell I'm doing, it's so easy. Okay, let's go. I won't lose. He's going to go right back to where he was. H-Y-O, 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 H-Y-O. It's about time. And I know he's going, yo, 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 yo. But that's a stupid ass laugh. Joey Wheeler, you just wait. She's coming for you, big boy. You better um, protect yourself. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I am the dual king. This is where I'll prove it. And then you magically transfer to the other. Yeah. Hmm. How much easier is this in Redshift? I honestly don't know because I never really, like, I, I got Redshift. Before I got too far, the game got stolen from me. But, yeah. No, I've had enough. The, it just started. Rex beat me. He, struck, he beat you with time to go from one. I went down one screen. All right. Where you go? I want to duel this guy. It looks like a Naruto character. Let's go. Go, go, go. Come here. <laughs> Don't whine and cry if you lose. Okay. So the idea here is you offer up an anti-card. The higher rate the card is, the better card you can get from dueling all these randos. And then when you finally duel the main characters, you're basically guaranteed to get that rare card from that specific duelist. So we're going to use the most valuable card that's not in our deck. And here we go. Oh, hey, Pot of Greed. What does it do? <laughs> All right. So uh, speaking of what does it do, um, you actually have to like maneuver around some of these things. Like, how do I even which button? Oh, yeah, it's B. And then you got to go to the details so like house of adhesive tape destroys a monster with 500 or less attack when they attack you now there's a completely new strategy in this game that wasn't in previous Yu-Gi-Oh games and i don't think has existed ever since except for maybe in rest shift because i don't know i never really played through it but they actually have type effectiveness in this game so, for example, if you fight a fiend-type monster with a light-type monster, or attribute... Wait, is it attribute or type? Which one is which? Attribute. Yeah, so if you fight a light attribute with a, a fiend, the fiend will automatically die no matter what. And if it's a weaker monster, you just don't lose any life points, but the monster still gets destroyed immediately. So, yes... The unhappy maiden with zero attack points can attack and kill Summon Skull. That's how weird this game is. So with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and summon my next card. Just go around and attack. But yeah, I enjoy the type matchup system for one reason and one reason alone you can manipulate your entire deck to just counter certain enemies what the hell okay Why?
Okay, so I think it must be the one month anniversary of everybody uh, becoming a member on the channel. So everybody's memberships just went through at the same time. I don't know how or why, but it apparently did because Fire King and Bucky now have their silver crowns instead of bronze. So I don't know when I first streamed on YouTube. It's not an important date to me. It's just I, I started doing YouTube again. There you go. Um, Fire King saying, oh, no, I hope not. I'm so well. Oof. Also, I don't know why y'all got silver crowns already. Y'all shouldn't have silver crowns already. That should be like a month, like four thing. I'm not sure, but whatever the case, uh, new mechanic I'm going to show off. If you discard a card, never mind. I already summoned him. I forgot. I discarded uselessly. Or I attacked. That's what it was. Okay. So, okay, 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 okay. I, I, I took a, a small break and forgot. Um, it's like a tribute is required. Uh, you need to click on them in tribute. Okay. So, uh, it was a discard. It's instead of attacking you, tribute. There you go. And then you could summon your higher level monsters. And it shows just a number. Like, this is a five star monster, but it takes one sacrifice and later on you can see two but yeah that's how that works um whoops wow he tried it look at that he tried attacking one of my monsters probably saber slasher with the magician of faith because it's a light attribute monster but it died to my trap and that basically just won me the game just having that one trap just won me the game Well, almost. If I hadn't discarded a card uselessly, I guess. But that was my mistake. Nah, eh, whatever. I almost could have had a perfect duel. Oh, well. Yeah, you get money, and then there's my card. And yeah, like I said, cost 87. So my duelist level is too low. I think it goes up by like five. Where was I before? Was I still level 17? When does my duelist level go up? I don't actually remember when my duelist level goes up. But I don't want to duel Rex just yet. But I'm going to use this as anti and just keep using it and going higher and higher. Ooh, first turn Dora. No! Trigger happy. I haven't played this game in so long. Got tri trigger happy. I have the memory, but not the muscle memory. Oops. All right, so Doron has a special ability that lets you duplicate it. So you don't get to attack that turn with it, but you get to split it in two. So the idea was I was going to use Doran and then sacrifice it the next turn to play Saber Slasher. And then I basically would have gone to victory. But instead, we're doing this and hoping that the guy just uses another fiend monster. So there you go. Now it dies. And the second one's Magician of Faith. Oh, well. All right, but you see what I mean? Well... This works as well. Okay. Effect. There you go. And that powered up Witch's Apprentice made him basically the strongest of all the no sacrifice monsters in play that could possibly come. Um, If I ever actually get the Mask of Darkness, then I might use this for shits and giggles, but it's actually not that great a card. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and set it, but you need to tribute two monsters and a Mask of Darkness card. And Mask of Darkness, I think I used in the last duel, but straight up, it's like, hold on one sec. Is that, I don't know if this will actually, yay, okay. But Mask of Darkness is a monster with 900 attack. So you need to sacrifice it and two more cards. So you need three total monsters to then finally activate this to get a 2000 attack monster. So very underwhelming. And yeah, I know I still got to put up the members poll. I'll probably do it at the end of today's stream. And yeah, you need a exactly. You need to tribute the two monsters and have Mask of Darkness on the field and then use it. So it's kind of r ridiculous. Okay, Josh. I can't read that. I'll wait till it shows him in the YouTube chat. There it goes. Darn you, John. I was going to play Monster Hunter Rise, but watching you play this made me need to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force because I got the Yu-Gi-Oh! Fever. A fever. Uh, hey, guys. I'm an influencer. Yeah, I was thinking about getting Monster Hunter Rise and letting it be like my first like true... Uh, like monster hunter game because like i know lexi's been playing it a lot and like helen her twin um like if i had more people that could put up with how far back i would be and they wouldn't have to actually carry me through the game i would probably buy the game just to play with friends and have fun the, the problem is literally like work schedules so like i'll only be able to play with them so often I hate that effect is all the way on the other side. All right, so I draw another card. Yay, trap. Okay. Would I have actually won the... Nah. I about to say, I definitely wouldn't have won the duel. Still one more turn. The ritual monster is normally 999 cost. No, it ain't. It's 255. 255 is literally the max cost of any card in this game. What do you mean 999? Or is it like an unobtainable card so it's glitched that way? Yeah, that's the only way I could think. I remember in Russia, if you barely had any strong monsters and getting any monster for... Wait, getting any four-star monsters over 1k attack was nearly impossible. Really? Well, there we go. That's a decent card. 850 attack. Okay. I don't really need to... Uh... Oh, you're thinking Russia. Oh, so Russia goes to 999. That's so bizarre. Yeah, this is still my most valuable card, so I'm just going to keep using it. Ooh, Pot of Greed. What does it do? Let me use it and find out. Up to two cards may be drawn from the deck if there's space in the hand. What does that mean? I guess I'll never know. I think you need flame swordsmen to deal with dinosaurs. What is this, the actual anime? Yeah, overall, the game's pretty easy i say as i lose my best card on the field lol um damn i would draw a fiend when i'm trying to sacrifice and play another card um yeah so in the earlier stages of the game the only really challenging thing is the different type effectiveness like, all the monsters are low level. You really have nothing to worry about. You just have to use some kind of strategy later on when you're building your deck. Unfortunately, sometimes the best way to go about building a deck is just completely exploiting the system. And again, I'll, I'll show you later. Uh, are we still talking about Reshif? The best card in the game is Winged Dragon of Raw Phoenix mode. 
Because again, I know nothing of Reshif. Like, I don't even know if it's like a true sequel to the Sacred Cards. Like, if is it supposed to be like season four or something? Like, what is the point of Reshif? I know it's like the same world, but like, is it a sequel to the Sacred Cards or is it a continuation of? Oh God. Okay, Don became a regular member. He joined the trainers. I was just like, wait, is that a placeholder or did he act? Okay. Okay. Welcome, Don. Not yet, LOL. Yeah, not yet, he says. I just barely won this duel this turn. But yeah, to, to more in death wait you didn't say you were strong uh well hey i'm strong but um yeah when i meant like is it a sequel to sacred cards i meant like clearly it's a sequel to the sacred cards but is it still based on the anime or is it based on a what if that just picks up where sacred cards left off just gave john a free scare yeah the nervousness was there I was not sure of your intentions. It's a pain in the butt version of Sacred Cards. Well, sounds about right. Right shift is a sequel to Sacred Cards and Konami decided to raise the difficulty super high because people said Sacred Cards was too easy. Oof. Okay. Ironically, when I was a kid, I thought this game was hard. But then as I kept replaying it in my older years for nostalgia purposes, I was like... This game's dumb. Like, easy dumb. Play card. Strong attack win. Uh-oh, they use strong monster. Attack with super effective attribute win. <laughs> like, that's all this game is. And it's a super exploitable mess. Like, there's literally a free way to get cards later. Well, not free free, but basically free. One more turn. You suck. His weakest monster so far destroyed my strongest monster so far. I hate you. Okay, and Russia is its own thing. So that's basically what I was trying to get out of that. Electric snake. All right. Mm-hmm. Wait. I'm about to say, like, was there something one else here? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and duel all the, like, background characters for now, just to, like, try to get some, like, deck capacity increase. Um, I should be all right. Yay, free damage. Let's see, I understand why flip monsters and other effect monsters are normal here. I just hate that they're normal here. Yeah, I, I just think it would have been too complicated to code back then. What? Okay. So I finally got my boss monster for the first time. So the best card you get at the beginning of the game is the last warrior from another planet who somehow has a cost of nine but has 2350 attack. It takes two sacrifices, but it's like, honestly, one of the best cards in the game. And you start off with it. Like, it's not bad by any means. Like, sure, there's obviously way better cards later on, but still. But there you go. And now basically win next turn. But by far, he's the strongest card in your deck. And anything you sacrifice will be worth it. Because it has more attack than the rest of your monsters combined. All 
All right. That was one of my favorites back in the day because of this game. Yeah, like, I guess that's the only reason it would become a fan favorite. Like, nobody knew it existed until this game. And then, poof. Now let's do what I wanted to do earlier. Doron, clone itself, start the game with two monsters on the field, win. That's what I wanted to do. And now we basically speed run mode. <laughs> I think this is the last regular duel, and then we just go fight Rex. Uh, how close am I? All right, one more turn. Don't even need any more monsters. Easy clap. Ooh, okay. Oh, it can turn the field into a force. Interesting. Huh. Hmm. That can be a very good card. For one reason and one reason alone. Basically, every single main duel in this game, like each boss, cheats. So, each enemy you go up against has a field type bonus for its type of uh, monsters. So, it's like what the, uh, not desert. What, 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 what's the, um, what, what's the field terrain for like Rex? I'm sure you guys would know. Wasteland, thank you. It's Wasteland. So there's Wasteland, Forest for Weevil, um, uh, Dark for uh, Esperoba, I believe. And like it goes on from there. Like everybody's got their type of event. And then like Aqua for Mako. Well, Yumi. I mean, well, Aqua Terrain, Yumi, however you want to say it. But anyway, let's go ahead and fight Rex. You want to challenge me in jail level? I don't have time for that some other time. Oh, right. He's like the third one for some reason. But whatever the case. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to drop one of my weakest monsters. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need you. So I'm going to drop you. For that Trent that I just got. Like, that's my second strongest level 5 monster. With that bonus. So, we Gucci. So, you want to do this? You're sure of it? Mm-hmm. And cost. And use this ante. There you go. You're keeping Thousand Eyes idle. I mean, meh. The, the tight matchups is what's more important. Like, in the off chance that I actually need to go against, like, one of the bosses in the game with types alone. Like, Thousand Idols is just there already. And hoorah. I didn't think about this. I should have I should have paid more attention and actually played this face down. But I'm about to show another exploit of this game. So, this is stupid. Th this game made me think some of these strategies were viable in real life without knowing the actual order of operations. Tribute. I can now summon you. However, you can still play other cards before you summon. free attack 
How dumb is that? And that is a very common strategy. Like, it, it's so free. Instead of sacrificing and then, like, doing no damage because you're destroying one monster in defense mode, use Dark Hole and then attack. That is not how it works in the actual game. It, it, it's so busted. But yeah, basically what I'm doing here is I'm dueling these three guys just so I can get to the... See, I should have won right there, but no. He just had to have a monster with 50 more defense to my attack. What a ho Ooh, that's not as great as I remembered it being, but I'm still going to use it anyway. Actually, you know what? I don't want to sacrifice all my low-level monsters because then it's going to just be harder for me in the long run. So you've got good defense. I don't want to get rid of you. Eh. Ah, fine. I can do one more. The odds of me getting nothing but... um. Oh, wait. Thousand Eyes Idol is actually not in my deck. For some reason, I thought it was in your deck by default. Oh, well. Whatever the case. Uh, Zone Eater, don't need you. Yeah, because Crawling Dragon is still my best, like, one tribute monster right now. Challenge Mr. Bones in the cemetery past here. With a little luck, you may be able to win. Wait, go duel with someone else. Oh, you only have to duel one of them? I thought you had to duel all three. Whatever the case. Hi, hi, hi. You wanted to duel with me? I never turned down anyone's challenge. You look weak enough, too. But on one condition... We duel for our locator cards. So yeah, you guys noticed that we actually haven't gotten any locator cards this entire time. It's because only the main characters have the balls to challenge you and actually ante up their locator cards. And then no matter what you ante, they basically give you their best card. I'm still going to do it. Hi, hi, hi. My turn. Ah, a good hand from the get go. I see. However, I, uh, oops. I, I only just barely beat that. Oh. Okay. We Gucci. Alright, so now he can't possibly summon his pumpkin uh, king of ghosts. And I thought he started off with a um a terrain bonus, but apparently he does not. For some reason I thought he did, but I might be thinking of something later in the game. Oops. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, basically, whoever gets their first tribute monster out first always wins unless there's a tight matchup advantage. So I'm probably going to tribute here. Uh, <laughs> I could be a dick. Because monsters you put in defense mode, or actually, even in attack mode, like I think, if as long as you don't attack with them, they stay face down. And they always attack your face downs, no matter what. It's the weirdest thing. All right, so your deck capacity increases by 30, you get 500 domino, and then Pump King, the King of Ghosts, which I can already use, which is already my best card in the game. And actually, 
Now that I think about it. Oh, it's only... Yeah, I, I was thinking zombie dragon instead of crawling dragon. Yeah, if that was actually dragon zombie instead of crawling dragon, then it would be powered up by pumpkin, which is actually kind of funny. But, um... Yep, let's uh, go ahead and dump a card. Yeah, I was sorted by attack. Okay. Yeah, I just want to get rid of all my monsters with super low attack that don't have, like, a common tight matchup pretty much and then boost my deck with the most powerful cards and we win okay so that's bones down now we go up to f you f you f you don't think that you can beat me and this actually isn't bones oh right uh cost yeah because uh Lower level monsters with more attack or defense points are actually a higher cost. So that's what I'm going to keep doing every single time. Okay, we're starting with extra HP and Pot of Greed. All right. Um, This might be the best play. I'm going to hope that it, he doesn't use a high attack monster. Break even. Damn. Oh, well. I just need to make sure I don't get trigger happy and tribute the cards I'm trying to use effects for. And yeah, that's another thing. I wasn't even thinking about that, but Bones is not in Season 2, like, at all. And look, that was just a tight matchup. So he won because it's electric versus water. Of all the random things to have at this point. He lost to Yami Bakor. Did he? Huh, I feel like that might actually be right. But whatever the case, yo, crawling dragon, let's go. Hane Hane. Dude, imagine Hane Hane actually having his actual ability. He'd be so busted in this game. Fuck you. I, I, I give you... Like a compliment Like I wish you had your ability So that you could be You know A god And then you're just like Bitch I'm still a god I'm still honey honey Eh Oh well I still won but yeah, instead of dueling just the elder uh, Espa brother. Ooh. Ooh. So, House of Adhesive Tape, but even better. Holy crap. Um. Anyway, yeah, the Espa Roba brothers, whatever. They actually all duel you until you get to the eldest brother rather than them hiding in the corner and like making him see all your cards. See, that would actually be interesting is if his cards were RNG, but the tight matchups were not and he knew what you had and would always play something to match up to actually make it some kind of challenge, like make a variety to your deck. But... Nah, that, that would make the game uh, interesting and whatnot. Can't have that. Okay, so... Uh, actually, yeah, no, I'm going to go to the bottom. When you sort by attack, spell and traps have to be at the bottom. So let's drop... I want to drop on Happy Maiden yet. Yeah, it's Sinister Serpent. For basically best trap in the game. F you, F you, F you. Don't think that you can beat me. I have a baby on my back. Yeah, that would make it hard. It's too early. I'm still using the same card as Anti. I, I could totally put it in my deck now, and it would actually be a good card. Probably my, my actually best non-sacrifice card, but meh. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, which is apprentice effect, making my strongest monster on the field. Sinister Serpent was errated before being unfairly banned. I mean, the bans in Yu Gi Oh over the years have been both very deserving and very questionable. Like, through its entirety, like, I don't know. If you actually look back at the history of Yu Gi Oh and all the best cards in the series that have made a dip for holy shiitake mushrooms, um, if you ever get blue eyes, I challenge you to use as anti. I mean, I can, but does that really make any kind of difference? Like, blue eyes actually isn't like one of the highest cost cards in the game, I don't believe. I could be wrong, but, um, I'm bullshitting, dude. You ruined... I, I'm just going to say it. I was going to do that. You didn't even have to challenge me. I was already going to do exactly that. I was going to keep using Blue Eyes' ante just for shits and giggles once I get to that point of the game. But <laughs> now it's going to be like, oh, no, no, Neo gave him the idea. No, I, was, I swear I was going to do that because it's so dumb. I haven't got to that point of the game yet where I'm going to talk about all the exploits. Um, But you'll see. You'll all see. It's so dumb. It's a thousand? Was it really a thousand? Because, see, some of these details are just escaping me because it was so long ago. I just know that the, the exploits in and of themselves are just so easy. That was so close. All right, there goes brother number two. Increase by five, 100 domino, and oh, this early? Okay. I'm definitely going to need him against Mako. I'm gonna stay here. F you, F you, how foolish of you. P.I., 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 I shall win. I love, like, actually spelling out all these stupid-ass laughs that these characters do in the game. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Just don't let him summon Genzo and Wiguchi. Um, do I do this right now? Okay, I actually could have attacked and done more damage, but it was a calculated risk that I decided to not take. Okay, I'm good. Oh, hell yes. Um, tribute you, summon you, pot of greed, what do you do? That was honestly a waste of pot of greed. LOL. Because if I had waited like one turn, like I basically skipped my draw phase this turn. So I probably could have just saved until after I played like another spell or trap card. But whatever the case. Um. Eh. Uh, yay! Alright, does he attack me? He does not. Shocking. See, now would have been a good time to play Pot of Greed. And that should be GG. Oh, he revealed my hand. How appropriate that he can see my hand with a card in this game versus cheating in the actual anime. <laughs> That's just funny. But he's out of light points, dual victory, deck capacity increase, 800 domino, and then Genzo, which I can't even use. A cost of 231 before you're even allowed to use Genzo. He is one of the best cards in the game.
Like 2400 attack with one sacrifice, and I believe he destroys all trap cards on the field. Like, flat out. Like, they don't even have to be face up. So. I'm pretty much going to dump another weak card. Uh, um, mm. Yeah, I don't need the contract to mask. And then let's actually put in you. We're going to keep Oscar Hero out just so I can keep using it as anti. Now we're going to see how well I do with RNG. Oh yeah, you look like a decent duelist. We'll duel it with our locator cards on the line. I only duel when the stakes are serious. Don't expect me to pull any punches, all right? Okay, so. Nah, that's unnecessary. I, I get the same card no matter what. Okay. Okay. If I can play... Ooh, this is going to be a rough one, guys. This is actually going to be the first real challenge of the game. Ooh, that could be a bad trap. Okay. So, pretty much, I need wind monsters here, which I don't have a lot of. But yeah, here's the wasteland. So, this is the beginning of the real challenges. Um... Do I bother? Okay, one more turn and then I summon my best monster. So, RNG bless me in this game. Yeah, you can discard from your hand, but I usually just prefer not to. I mean, I might as well. Yeah, because I don't need these. All right, so I can actually win this easy now. All right, so yeah, I basically just won the game. Well, the duel. Damn. <clears throat> Dude, just wait until I actually get like Dark Magician in my deck and I can power up Dark Magician with Witch's Apprentice. But Witcher's Apprentice, in and of himself, automatically... Oh, this is ridiculous. How much? Uh, 4,400? Yeah, nah. Do I win? Nope. <clears throat> I still win next turn, no matter what. Unless he uses Dark Hole, which I don't think he has uh, Dark Hole. In Russia, if you lose life points, you don't regain them until you save at home... I'm sorry, what? Is that like something established as like a challenge? Like, is that like... Is that like an actual gameplay mechanic? Not a gameplay mechanic, but is that like a story-based thing? Because that's... That actually is challenging. Like, properly challenging, I guess. Um, so yeah, now I got my second best card. So yeah, some of the best, wait, you can't, no, what? You only wanted to have a rematch? Fine, then I'll take you on. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll offer your own card as ante just to fuck with you. Ha ha. You son of a bitch. Do I lose this time? Nope. <laughs> Not this time. Maybe maybe I still lose. 
I need a better card. Please give me a better card. Am I going to lose now? Like, for real? Like, by accidentally challenging him, am I going to lose? Am I about to lose the card he gave me by being a dick? An accidental dick? Well, I'm definitely not going to let you summon the monsters. If I can control it. Yes, thank God. Um. All right. Gonna play it safe. Pumpkin, King of Ghosts, attack. Here we go. Yeah, and the Wasteland just makes Pumpkin like a god. So in this duel, he's actually my best card. I finally broke him under 8,000 life points. Yeah, I did not mean to duel this guy. I wonder what he gives you if you beat him a second time. Like, does anyone actually give you better cards? As you rematch him? Because I legit have no idea. Alright, next turn I win. And we move on. It would have been nice to see the ritual card in play. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, again, the monster only has 2,000 attack points. It's not even worth it. So you can get better cards. If I could use that, you better make it to the finals. After all, you beat me. Yeah, I could actually, like, that would be the best card in my deck if I could actually play it just because it's got so much attack without a sacrifice. I'm not very strong. No, Trackadon isn't worse. Like, look at that. Like, 1,300 attack without needing a sacrifice? Like, that is the best... That would be the best card in my deck, by default. Because, like... Quicker attack points is everything in this game. Mm, followed up by type advantages, but overall, like, look at that. Now that I have two monsters on the field, oops, and I pulled the last warrior alive, boom, done. GG. But against later opponents, they may not survive long enough. You see what I mean? The Magician of Faith just destroyed the best card in my deck. One of the best cards in my deck. Highest base attack. Let's just leave it at that. But I lost two monsters basically by doing that. So like I had to tribute two monsters just to get him out. So that's what I mean. Yeah, so far, technically, I'm, like, halfway done the game. But story-wise, I think I'm about a third of the way through the game. But I've already got, like, four locator cards out of the six. Did y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all heard that, but someone just randomly popped fireworks in my neighborhood? It is March 27th. What the hell are you celebrating? Who pops fireworks on March 27th at 7.45 p.m.? Why, though? Like... What? Who pops fireworks at 7.45 p.m.? On March 27th? What? Lexi's birthday was two days ago. What, what, what are we celebrating? 
Looks like you're doing well. And Joey, well, he's having a rough time. It'd be nice if all three of you made it to the finals. Yo, John, I did it. Hey, I did it, man. I wasted no time in getting my first locator card. How are things going for you, John? Why? Why? Stop popping fireworks, you stupid cunts. Anywho, I need to work harder to stay until the finals. I just tried to duel uh, Taya, and it didn't work. Sure, let's do it. Let's spar. I'm curious. Hey, Joey. Want a chance at getting a card that you actually would ha normally have during the game? Or, I'm sorry, the uh, the anime? And then discard you and in turn. Yeah, I tried to duel Taya, but she doesn't even have a I don't duel like dialogue box. She just doesn't duel you. Who is popping fireworks? I don't understand. This is actually pissing me off. Like it's nonsensical. Anywho. Um. Eh, 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 okay. Whew, good choice. Time wizard! Alright. Try to duel grandpa. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He says something. I don't remember what he says, but he, he has, like, some kind of comment about not dueling anymore. I'm secretly popping fireworks loud enough for you to hear. Okay, Tag. I see how it is. Oh, come on, Tribute. All right, here we go. If if only the last warrior had 50 more attack points, he could have just won that by himself and it would have been perfect. All right, 500. Uh, baby Drek. I forgot you could get Baby Dragon from him, number one. Number two, that's a really good card. And I can actually use it right now. Darn, I lost. Well, it's good that it's only you. I'd better get rolling. I have to get have to make up ground against you. See you later, John. I like how all the sprites in the overall just completely freeze. But anywho. Okay, so... I could definitely afford to put Baby Dragon in, which I should, and I am. I'm going to. Um, mm, I could put Unhappy Maiden back in later. Is there anyone else I want to dump right now? For like Oscar Hero? Yeah, Queen's Double. I think I can afford to put both of them in. Perfect. Ho, ho, ho. I no longer duel. Ho, ho, ho. I no longer duel. You may save the game at your own house, John. Face the PC on your desk and press the A button. Ho, ho, ho. I no longer duel. The way he says the ho, ho, ho. I no longer duel. <laughs> Moving on. Wait, if you put Baby Dragon and Time Wizard on top of each other, you can make thousand dragon on top of each other like if you summon time wizard or baby dragon into that one spot it just makes the thousand dragon i thought you had to activate time wizard's ability is that not how it works but whatever the case yeah dude i got four of my six locator cards already and how long has this stream been going like i don't even know an hour you should save just in case. You right. Look how fast it was to save that. Roar! It's a duel. Freaking Tristan. And by the way, Tristan is the weakest duelist in the game that can randomly give you good cards for no reason. That's Tristan's superpower. And yeah, polymerization is not in this game. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Are you thinking about Forbidden Memories? Because, yeah, you can fuse them in Forbidden Memories because fusion works completely different in that game. Dude, Forbidden Memories is one of the hardest Yu-Gi-Oh games of all time. Like, speedrunners have learned how to basically manipulate the RNG to specifically go for, um, whatchamacallit, like, a bunch of thousand dragons and then acts of despairs to boost their attacks. And then eventually, uh, you need to get Red Eyes, Black Dragon, and Meteor Black Dragon. And then Duels of the Roses is technically a sequel to that. And it's way easier. And, like, it's a different concept entirely. But I've streamed it before. I did a Let's Play of it um, on Twitch. And then I exported it on YouTube in parts. So if you guys want to check that out, I do have a playlist. It's on my channel. Um, you can just go to my Let's Plays and sort them by order. Uh, like, newest to uh, oldest. And it's somewhere in that list. So... If you like Yu-Gi-Oh games and you want to see Let's Plays of some of the more interesting ones, there you go. Dude, like what I say. Tristan sucks but gives you good cards for no reason. Like, this is now, like, one of the best cards I have for my entire deck. A one sacrifice card that gives me 2,000 attack. Like, <laughs> why would I not? Unless I just couldn't afford it, but... Actually, can I afford Jinzo yet? Of course not. What do I need? Uh, basically double my, uh, stats right now. Um... Alright, let me dump... Can I afford you yet? Nope. Almost. All right, let's get rid of my weaker ones. Let's get rid of you because I prefer the defense just in case. And then... Put you. There you go. And I'll save just in case. Because, dude, saving takes no time at all. This is one of the fastest saving games, like, ever made. All right, can I actually get through here? Hey, it's off limits here. Get lost. A duel, huh? Looks like you got some decent cards, too. Okay, whatever then. Just this once. I mean, we have to offer Jinzo every duel. Like, that's the strat. Wicked Dragon with the... Wait, how much attack does that have? Whatever the case, um... I'm glad I got a tribute monster on my second turn. Otherwise, this could be tough because I don't remember. Like, I don't know if this is actually supposed to be a hard duelist. Yep. Yep. He's supposed to be hard. Wait. He... Wait, 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 wait. He has five headed direct... Are you sure? Well, it's five. God. Wait. It's five god dragon, right? Not five headed dragon. Whatever the case, he has it? Because I thought only the dual robot had it. Are you positive about that? Stop it. You punk. Because, like, it's definitely possible that more than one duelist has the five god dragon, but I thought that was exclusive to the robot. Oy. Well, at least he didn't immobilize me this time, so I can actually move on. See, so yeah, I'm just going to keep defending against the 900 monsters and keep going. You got destroyed by him once by that? I mean, I'll take your word for it. But 
Roland is the super boss, you fool. Um, I don't think he is, though. I'm pretty sure that's still the dual robot. Vorse Raider. Okay. Um. Maybe. My rare card. What a disgusting outcome. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was just wrong. Huh? What do you want? Crud, what good is our security staff? Ah, whatever, you're a duelist, are you? See this? It's a duel simulator. My brother made it, and I'm testing it. Try dueling against it. Remember, it was made for my brother. You better be good and ready for it. Not me, duel the machine. He does have, according to the wiki, he does have it in the deck. Oh, interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you think I'm ready for the duel machine? I have not done much of anything special. Let's see what happens. I am duel robot. Do you wish to duel? Data upload complete. Duel start. All right, boys and girls. We're about to see what happens. If I offer the rare car that I just got as anti against the dual robot. Uh oh, he went first. Fuck. Forest beats wind. Fuck. I have like no pyro monsters. Shit. I lost. Unless I get invisible wire and... Oh my god! I dueled the hardest duel in the game. And I just get no good cards. Like, I can win... The I gotta do something. What? Dude. This is actually frustrating. No. I have none of my higher attack monsters. Dude! This is horrible. This is actually horrible. Like, I lost. That's it. All I needed was one monster. Well, um, the reason why I cared absolutely zero about losing Vorse Raiders because I was never going to use it in this entire game. But no. Fuck you. We're doing this again. And we're offering... Sword Arm of Dragon instead. Now I get my Pyro Monster. Now I get my baby dress. Like, I had to lose my Vorse Raider. I, I had to lose my Vorse Raider in order to stand a. Ch this is I. I th th this game just fucked me in the ass, and then gave me a pass. Like. That is infuriating. That is actually infuriating.
I'll take chip damage to keep him in attack mode every tool, uh, every turn. Ooh. Okay. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. So now... Like, dude, this could have happened last time. Now he's dead. Now... And I get Dora, dude, like. And then 5,000 Domino, Mystic Horseman. Yeah, so he basically gives you cards at a similar cost to what you used as ante. So I would have gotten a much better card. That's the point of the dual robot. So he costs 95. So I got one 195. Okay, so yeah. Well, there you go. And also, yeah, you can just look at the three god cards at the very like top of the list when you sort by attack. Like that's because it, it then source blight cards you don't have it is or costs rather because that's stupid actually um watch this watch this i don't know if it, it shows it yet oh it does so yeah the three god cards have no cost the whole point of the game is to obtain the god cards and then use them so they don't cost anything and also, Slyphus Sky Dragon starts with 4,000 attack and defense instead of zero, and he gets 500 attack for, um, I'm sorry, wait, three levels? No. I think he raises 1,500 attack for every card in the hand. I think that's what it is. Yeah, 1,500 per card. I think that's right. something like that or it's 500 per card and i'm just i, I, I don't know because it says three levels which you would think is 500 500 500 and it's not that god cards aren't affected by spell or traps it's that no spell or traps in the game by coincidence would have any effect on it dark hole works on the god cards 100 percent but whatever the case all right so we have a decent deck capacity duelist level let's move on because now we can actually go to the park but before i do that right right there what ronan's talking about is there a card pass uh wait a card passcode machine so watch this first of all welcome we've got a fine selection of cards you can buy and sell your cards here Apparently, Kaiba said fuck this shit and sold his blue eyes. Why is Lexi calling me? What? Uh, hello, Lexi. Welcome to the live stream. How you doing? Um, I just wanted to show you something. What do you want to show me? This. Oh. Lexi, like, like I said earlier, guys, Lexi's birthday just passed like a couple days ago. Her husbando just gave her a fabulous looking ring. Here you go, chat. I don't know if y'all can actually see it. There you go. But, yep, there, there, there you go. But yeah, it's my wedding ring. The wedding ring. Okay, I love you, bitch, but I got to buy blue eyes and white lightning attack all these bitches. Okay, have fun. I will. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Yeah, I was just talking to her like a while ago today, but he, uh, did she just? Oh, TJ called me and hung up a me. 
What would you like, good sir? Hey, John, um, sorry. I just wanted to show you something that I got. Oh, well, what'd, you, what'd you get? Oh, are you actually gonna show it? Like, for real? It looks on stream. <laughs> Yo, dude, look at that nothing he got. Alright, well, bye. Bye, bitch. Love you. Where's Caitlyn when you need her? <laughs> to finish the, like, trifecta of best friends, like, FaceTiming me randomly during stream. <laughs> anyway, I just bought Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I could sort... <gasps> Ooh. So it does go past 255. Okay, so the cost of Big Shield Garna is 532. And then 260 for the like bruh. I'm close though. Not close at all. But then you can sort by price. So yeah, uh, cost and price don't necessarily go hand in hand, but I don't know if y'all saw this. So Flash Assailant doesn't have his like negative ability attached to him in this game. So it's just a level four monster with 2000 attack and defense. So that makes it one of the best cards in the game by default. Same goes for Panther Warrior, which surprisingly is the same cost. It's just like, oh, 2,000? Done. Say less. But anyway, could I help you with anything else? Not yet. Because watch this. Ah, another blue eyes white dragon, you say? Oh, look, another blue eyes white dragon, you say? But I thought there were only three blue eyes. So. Oh, right. They're at the top. Boom, boom, boom. And then. Why am I looking at a car next to Flash of Saint? Like. Look at the car next to Flash of Saint. Why? What? What? I, I, I looked at both cards next to flight. What? You have the Banisher of Light with good defense. You have Thunder Nian Nian who... They didn't use the international art in this game. Okay. I did. Titties! Like, is that what we're getting at? Like. But, like, for real though, like, I now have four blue eyes just for shits and giggles. But if you look at the cost, it's not even, like, Baby Dragon costs more than blue eyes. So, I am going to do a thing, and unfortunately, goodbye, last warrior from another planet. Hello, blue eyes. Goodbye, mm, sandstone. Hello, blue eyes. Never mind. Uh, no. Didn't realize I was cutting it so close, but hey, I got blue two blue eyes in the deck now. So we Gucci. Can I duel you? Yes. Oh, I got one. Derp. I literally just okay. This is Anti. Oh. This theme music. <laughs> Sucker. Free damage for me.
so what i was going to get at here was this is where the speed run tactic for the game comes in place and it's so dumb so it's not exodia i mean yes you can get exodia here and pretty much just wipe the floor with the rest of the game however you can also do the destiny board where it spells final whereas in the other versions of the game and like the rest of the world it's death so instead of it's either death or final whichever version of the game you're playing but by having all five of them on the board at once spelling out like it doesn't even need to be in a certain order you just need to play them all on the field at once you immediately win turn one so you can have all of them in your deck and then rng manipulate the game so that every single time you start the duel you always start with the same five cards and you win every single time and that's what i was talking about that it ruins the game because it legitimately does ruin the game like you straight up win every duel immediately and like it's kind of unnecessary <laughs> but anyway uh dot 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 what are we playing like three five eight over two days okay the mime over there he's creeping me out he's been that way for the last two days he doesn't say anything either not a word huh a duel okay go easy on me will you mmm sure have a genzo if you win genzo um instant pot agreed hoorah oh <gasps> yee fuck you Winning by type advantage. Seriously, if I just had Oscar the Hero number two earlier, like, I would have been perfectly fine. Oh, hey! Remember what I said? Where's Caitlyn when you need her? <laughs> Five minutes later, she appears. <laughs> What up, nub? Fuck off! <laughs> not you, the fire guy. And not Fire King, the, the other, the, the fireball. There you go. <laughs> Just got home from work. Hey! <laughs> I see how it is just facetime so yeah uh caitlin um so lexi randomly facetimed me because she didn't know i was live at the time because she went out for her like after birthday dinner i guess because her birthday was two days ago so christian took her out to dinner and then one of her gifts was basically like you know a wedding ring wedding ring quote unquote you know legally married but no wedding yet blah 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 that thing so she showed me that and then as soon as i hung up tj facetimed me and showed me his empty hand and that is why fire king is requesting that you facetime me and show the chat your hand with your left hand All right, literally an actual conversation with my mother. Mom, I want to talk about me. Okay, what do you want? Oh, I'm waiting to hear the rest of this. Something with chicken. I can, I'll can. i get you a quesadilla, but it's flat, though. Her want to bring it home. Ew, why is this flat? It's almost like I told you that's what it would be. That actually reminds me. I, guys, I might just come clean 
and tell you guys what I do for a living now. I won't tell you where I work. I'll make it just like before where I just said I do security. But I never established what security company I worked for. Because there are several companies that do like my profession, okay? Also, if for its own demise, it can summon insect from the own hand. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um. <laughs> Caitlin, uh, so Fire King said he was leaving because, like, I, 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 I said fuck off during that duel, and then. I had literally just been talking to you before I said that. I was like, not you, the fire guy. And I was like, wait, and not fire king, the fireball in the game. Fuck off. That, and he's playing off of that. That's what that was. Okay. Joke explained. Done. Okay. So are you guys interested in what I do for a living now that is not security, but is, you know, something different? Because if I, if I establish this, like... I will not go into exact detail. I will just tell you the stories of my profession. Because I've already got a couple. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be doxing myself this way. <laughs> a male what? <laughs> Okay, no, all right, all right, all right for real. I, I, I'm finally going to come clean. I'm finally going to say it, okay? So, uh, most of you know that the title that I've had is manager trainee, but I never established exactly... Wait, did I already summon... I wasn't paying attention. God damn it. I thought it was the next turn already. Um, nah, Fire King. Like, if I actually established where I worked, like, more specifically, it would be so easy for people to just, like troll in like call the place but a gigolo I, I I sincerely don't know what the fuck that is all right incognito window like unless I know what it is but never heard the exact oh that's what they're called. I thought it was just an escort. Like, why do you need a whole separate word for it? That that's where the confusion came in. It's one of those things where you don't need the word. Oh, that's how it's spelled. That's how it's spelled? Okay. I always thought it was spelled J-I-G-G-A-L-O. Is that not how it's spelled? Hold up. It's definitely showing up spelled like that. If I J I G G A L O, but what whatever. What what did you send? FaceTime me. You won't. FaceTime me. You won't. You're right. I won't. Do it. Do it. Please. Please. I'm going to show the picture. 
I don't care if you don't have makeup on. You don't even need to show your face. You just need to show your hand. I will show your hand. You suck. Anywho. I'm just going to show the picture then. Ladies and gentlemen, she refuses to FaceTime me. But Caitlin basically has done the thing. So she has shown me a picture of her left hand. That is why this is my best fucking friend. I love this bitch. She is the best. She is great. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Everyone starts singing John Pixie. Oh, God. But like that and like I, I'm just I'm sitting here with nothing. I, I got nothing. No, nothing to show. N nothing on either hand to show. Anywho, back to the game. What am I doing here? Summoning baby dragon and winning. Let's go. <sighs> but that's close enough to the FaceTime. We've already had all three best friends on the stream now. Hoorah. Yeah, we're really going to beat this game in one sitting. Like, I'm not even speed running. I'm still going to beat it in one sitting. Like, I'm actually, like, at the halfway point of the game at this point. Um, meh. Like, all the regular duelists just suck. I'm sorry, what? Did you know the original name for this game is Yu Gi Oh! Duel Monster 7 The Duel City Legend? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, this is actually a decent card. That's a mighty downer. Um. And. Uh. Can I dump a card? All right, you for you or for you? Nope, not quite enough uh, points for it. You tweeted it to me, good God. Caitlin's sitting here DMing me things. <laughs> Let's just say she's going to hell. <laughs> Woo! Okay, <laughs> we're going to um not say that I'm going. I'm going to pretend that she said something really bad and just let you use your imagination. <laughs> And also pretend we're playing Cards Against Humanity. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, so guys, it's time for the most fuck you move in the game. We tribute the clones from turn one. We dark hole whatever came in. We summon blue eyes and destroy everything in our path. Fuck you. You know, I still never told you the job thing. Okay, so I'll tell you the job thing. And I'll tell you the relevance that I was referring to about, like, someone saying that they're going to do something or something's going to be a certain way, and then the person they're talking to is surprised when it's that certain way because they just didn't listen or they're arrogant or something. So, I rent cars. 
I have now broken it down to a like 10 different company thing and I will not disclose which one I, w I work for all you need to know is that I rent cars I may also eventually sell cars but at the moment I rent cars and the reason Caitlin just reminded me of that like specifically with the whole I said it's going to be flat and then her mom's like ew it's flat why'd you get that so what happened was somebody came and when I tell you this man what damn that's a good card okay so this man came in and said like he had an insurance claim okay the insurance claim made it to where if he rented through us he had the discounted rate through his policy holder his insurance will not disclose which again oh no 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 um so he comes in and we told him we were kind of short on vehicles and i asked him what exactly do you need what kind of car are you trying to get into and he said i'm not trying to spend a lot of money get me the cheapest thing you can get me in okay so those were his words get me into the cheapest thing you can get me in we did not have any economy cars which would be the cheapest thing we did not have any compact cars which by sheer coincidence in the system goes for the exact same rate the smallest and cheapest thing we had available was a single mid-size sedan which isn't really a sedan it was a kia soul but there's no proper way to categorize it in the system so in terms of pricing we call it a mid-size sedan okay so he pays 20 percent for the uh rental and then when i pulled it around from the back and brought it to the front to like walk around take pictures of the vehicle so to say like okay any of these little dents and scratches or whatever this is here before you take it off the lot so we won't like charge you for it okay he comes around and like he's standing there in the front and when i come up he's just like that's a mid-size i thought it was like I, I didn't know what exactly the shock was okay so i was like well yeah it's too small it's technically a compact suv but it's too small to be considered an suv and it's too big to be considered a compact so between a mid-size and a full-size sedan the closest thing we can call it is a mid-size sedan so it's bigger than like a toyota corolla or a nissan sentra but it's smaller than like a malibu or an ultima or something like that and he's go and then he pulls this card he goes you're gonna take a successful 67 year old vet and put me in this this is the smallest vehicle i've ever been in in my entire life and i'm like sir you asked me to put you in the cheapest thing possible so you didn't have to spend a lot of money the smaller the car the cheaper the car so i put yes i assigned you the smallest car on the lot and then he looked at me and went like his eyes got wide and it was just like oh i'm a fucking moron i did say i wanted the cheapest thing so he put me in the smallest thing so he was like okay so what else do you have on the lot i was just trusting your judgment what else do you have on the lot and what would the price difference be and at the time nobody updated our little spreadsheet where we keep track of all the cars we have on the lot 
and everything was in the back because like i said we were short on videos so we pretty much were getting cars in cleaning them and putting them right back out on the road i remembered 45 minutes before this somebody returned a chevy malibu that's a full-size sedan so i told him i think back there we have a malibu he's like okay what's the difference and i was like okay so the mid-size right here the kia soul is going for 21 dollars and some change and then the malibu would go for 25 dollars and some change and you pay 20 percent so he's just like so what you're telling me is that between an 80 cent and one dollar difference per day you could put me in a malibu instead of this and you didn't offer me that and i said sir Again, you specifically requested the cheapest thing possible. If you want me to swap out vehicles, I can do that right now. I can go in there, take the key, jot the code down and swap you out. It takes two minutes. And then he looked at me and like, he wanted to continue bitching. So he's just like, nah, don't even worry about it. I, I, I've learned, I, I, I've learned from this experience. So don't worry. And uh, what was your name? And I was like, my name is Jonathan. And he goes, thank you, Jonathan. Look, I don't blame you for any of this. I blame this company. I blame the way it works. And I blame that other guy for starting this. And this was a whole other thing. Like he called for a pickup date and he said Wednesday. And then he called back and said, never mind, Friday. So on Wednesday, when we had his name on the board for Wednesday, we called him, forgetting that's exactly who it was. And he was just like, what the fuck did I tell y'all? I said that I wanted to be picked up on Friday, not Wednesday. And the guy who called him was the one who originally extended him. He's like, oh my God, that was you that got the extension. I'm so sorry. And he erased the date and put the Friday date instead. Then one of our car cleaners, I was busy, okay? Like yesterday, okay? This happened yesterday. Today is Saturday, March 27th. This happened yesterday, March 26th. So I saw his name on the board. I was like, oh shoot, we got this uh, pickup for 10 o'clock. Normally I do the pickups. I like to handle the insurance claim. So I go pick up the, um, I go pick up the uh accident people from their body shop that they're at bring them to our shop rent out their vehicle and then when they return i bring i return their vehicle and bring them back to their shop that's my like job offering like all of us work as a team and that was my contribution i'm the one who leaves and picks people i deal with the customers firsthand I take care of the insurance guys more often than anything, okay? That's my offering because I'm a customer service person, okay? So that's what I do. So he does all this and then he bitches at the car cleaner because I was like, look, insert person's name here. I'm very busy right now. We have no cars to clean. Can you go pick up this guy? And he's just like, all right, hold on. I'll give him a call. It's like, there's someone I got to pick up at nine. Uh, there's someone right here for 930. You want me to do them too? I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. Cause we, we got to do a lot of shit today. And he's like, oh, I got you. I got you. So our car cleaner did extra. He did half of my job. He did extra and I applaud him for it. I thanked him. He went and picked up our 930, our 930 guy and our 10 o'clock guy. The 10 o'clock guy was the guy bitching. So at the end of all that, he tried to twist it and be like, it's not your fault, Jonathan. I don't blame you. I blame this company and I'm never coming back here again. I'm going back to insert place here next time. I, I just hope that they actually have cars this time. That's the only reason I'm here is because insert other company didn't have cars. And I'm just sitting here like, you asked for it. I told you what I was giving you and you agreed to it. You signed the contract. And then you were surprised when I brought it around. He said, cheapest thing you've got. And I said, cheapest thing we've got right now is a Kia Soul. 
He did not ask, what is that? What does it look like? He just said, okay, how big is it? And I said, it's a, it's considered a midsize. It's a weird, it's a weird like box shape that makes it like a crossover between a small uh, midsize sedan and a compact SUV. So we call it a midsize sedan. He's like, oh, okay, I I I'll work with that. Didn't say, oh, I'm a successful veteran. I'm 67 years old. I don't care what the price is. I just want to be comfortable. Bruh, I could have put you in a Chrysler 300S if you wanted. The Chrysler 300S would have gone for $40 a day. He would have paid 20% of that. He would have ended up paying like 60, 70 bucks total to drive around in a Chrysler 300S. But no, put me in the smallest thing possible and then I'll bitch about it. And then we all talked about it. We, we, we had a team meeting and it was just like, yeah, he, he was just a bitter old man. Yeah, the, the whole deal was that he didn't compute that size meant price. Th that's basically what it boils down to. Uh, da, 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 da. Does this work? Yay! And I win. All right. Well, I actually can now use this as a small break point, not a stopping point, but I'm going to take a short break, go refill my water. And when I come back, if I can think of more, like if anything triggers in my head and I can, I already got one. Caitlin, I think TJ knows about this, but I think Caitlin is the only one. Okay, no, TJ knows. Only TJ and Caitlin know this story. I'm going to go ahead and say it when we come back. For now, we're going to go on a brief intermission. And I'll see you guys when we come back.
Alrighty, we back, and yes, Igor, I give up on Twitch, because, excuse me, but, uh, yeah, Twitch, not the greatest place on Earth. <laughs> Algorithm sucks, um, most people are only on Twitch just to watch one person to be gone anyway, I'd rather just have everything be on YouTube, because I'm going to start uploading on YouTube again, I already started recording videos, by the way. I already have, um, you know, I'll announce it later, but I already started recording the first series that I'm going to have, and there's going to be like a slight twist on it in the second half of the series, and then in that series, I also mentioned the next game I'm going to do, or that I want to do next, I got shit ready, and then after I do black and white, uh, on YouTube, the live stream series we're doing right now, the uh, chat lock, we have another one ready to go with another twist. So, like, another live stream series with another kind of twist that I don't know if y'all are ready for, but I'm gonna let y'all know that one after I'm done the chat lock. And can you get a hint? The only hint you get is Let's go! And now y'all have to figure out what Mario game am I doing? Okay. With all that, uh, I don't know who I dueled here earlier. Okay, let's start. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna continue where we left off. I'm pretty much dueling everybody once and then moving on. It's completely unnecessary, but sometimes makes it easier. Sorry about the go oh no 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 that's no problem you don't need to apologize for asking a question it's just a question I'm glad you enjoy the streams and the videos and like I said yeah the videos are coming back I won't say how many videos are recorded just yet but basically as soon as the stream is over I'm going to wrap up a couple things around the house chore wise and then I'm going to continue record hey John you're lame sorry JK not sorry okay hold on hold on It's teary eyes. I'm, I only got teary. I couldn't make myself actually like teardrop cry. Damn. If I actually pulled that off, holy shit. Push harder. Like, ugh. I actually did make myself cry. Holy shit. <laughs> like I said, I just couldn't get a drop. Like, I, I couldn't get a tear drop to come out. I could only make my eyes water. Maybe if I kept going, I probably could have, but... It took me a moment to get into character in the first place. Um, All right, let's do this. Tribute. Let's go. John used fake tears. It wasn't very effective. Oh, John, definitely pick a Monster Hunter Rise sometimes because... Character designer basically made my Monster Hunter Erica. Oh, nice. I don't know. If if Caitlyn will also get it and play with me, maybe. 
And there it goes. <laughs> you look like you're starting to get lightheaded. I don't know about all that. Like, I, I, I think that's all the face I made, but... How do I look like I'm getting lightheaded? How do you look like you... Please explain that to me. How do you look like you're getting lightheaded? <clears throat> yeah. Acting. It's hard to explain? Well, then that's stupid. <laughs> Neck hunter? <laughs> okay. All right, fro guy, let's go. God fucking damn it. How can you make yourself look like lightheaded? And Caitlyn says like this. The green is being chroma keyed, by the way. Fucking airhead gif. Do you know where he is? Yes. What? He often shows up at the toy shop? Hmm, that's a good lead. Fine, we duel. Alright, what you got? I told you guys, Caitlyn is funny and she is my best friend. And I just got fucked by an electric type. Let's go. Hmm. Oof. Okay, here we go. Don't get a level 5 or 6 Pokemon, please. Okay. Nice. Damn, that's pretty shocking. Wow, Bucky, you stole Caitlyn's joke. <laughs> what an asshole. Damn it, you and these tight matchups. Did I, did I say Pokemon? Did I actually say Pokemon? I'm brain farting at the moment. Did I say Pokemon? Like, was I so focused on saying electric? And thinking of... I, I'm going to tell you right now. In my head, when I said electric type, I immediately thought of the Gigantamax Pikachu, the... So when I said level five or six, did I like mistakenly cross my thoughts with my words and say level five or six Pokemon instead of monster? Because if that's what I said, that is the exact explanation for why I did. And now you guys know how crazy I actually am. Sometimes my mental thoughts leak out. Why do I have so many? I fucked up. Wait, doesn't force beat? Wait. Wind beats for Wait. I don't know. I don't care. My blue eyes white dragon just got destroyed by steroid Karibo. The salt is real, ladies and gentlemen. The salt is real. Oh, fuck. I thought that was 500. That was a mistake. I should have actually read it before attacking. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Now I'm good. All 
Oh, wait. Force beats wind. Wind beats earth. That's what it is. I got that completely backwards. And fire beats force. All right, Caitlin, hurry back. I'll miss you and stuff. Tie home number two. Hmm. Ugh, defeated. But that match was a good way to loosen up. I'm going to beat Yugi and establish my name here. I've got to hurry and find him. Oh, yes, I should share some of my knowledge. My Valentine, said to be the best female duelist? Well, I saw her by the building. The building. First, he says he lost to me and thinks he could defeat the current king of games. And then says the best female duelist is by the building. See, I know where she is. I know where she actually is. But he just says the building. <laughs> Bye, Frodo. All right. And now we have to make an adjustment. We have to drop maybe no uh Oh, I could just trade, like, flat out. Okay. I literally just want that for the, um... The tight matchups. Nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Not the nicest, but... Discard that. All right, next turn I get a free draw. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, card advantage is huge. All right, you should be good now. destroy as many monsters as possible so he can't possibly sacrifice for more because I don't know what cards he has. Alright. Yeah, we're about to fight Weevil. And then get Insect Queen, which, meh. Honestly? Oh, shit. He didn't have... They didn't play a fire, uh, I'm sorry, a forest type. Wait, even the grunts can have insect queen? Are you serious? Bruh, I could sacrifice every single turn and get like another powerful monster out. All right, so I said before the break that I was going to talk more about, like, my job and, like, another story that I had that was kind of recent. So, with that in mind, I've dealt with a few things already. I've only been here for two and a half months, and my... I basically have my manager and then my manager's manager, like, the whole area manager right so the whole area manager has applauded me on 
multiple occasions for different scenarios and my handling of them and she's been pleasantly surprised so one thing was that <laughs> I oh shit okay that's fine um one thing we had a customer who basically was suspect of insurance fraud and pretty much I would not rent to her and at the end of that like I can't go into too much detail about it because it's a case that hasn't happened but still could so all I will say is that her comeback to me like on like a couple days later was if you uh okay she she called me a few days later and was just like you need more training honey and at that moment i was like ah like in my head i'm just thinking to myself hmm so now she's insulted me now I have a full-blown excuse as to why I would refuse to serve her. I let her rant. She told me what I said, which is not what I said. I told her what I actually said. And then she got mad that she was wrong. And then hung up. Then recently, like three days ago, Somebody tried some bullshit of the highest caliber. So there's a there's a there's a thing that we do with insurance rentals. Okay? We have a location like every rental car company for the most part has some kind of like location with or near airports okay so our airport location is the only one in the area that does not work with insurance rentals they have to come to one of the other locations however that is where we do detail and maintenance on vehicles so for if for example, a vehicle blows a tire or has some other mechanical issue, that vehicle must be towed to the airport. We get confirmation that the vehicle is there, and then we could swap out to a new vehicle once we have proof that it's been obtained. So, with that in mind, we had somebody come in like you you know the jumpsuits like the the basic ass worker jump shoot uh, jump suits with a name tag like the basic ass blue onesie jumpsuit tag suit like it that's the what the guy came in as saying that he's a uh tow truck driver I was like hey I'm here to do a tow exchange and I was like I'm sorry a tow exchange and he's just like yeah like bringing a customer a vehicle so that we could tow theirs uh, because we're towing theirs to the airport and they need another vehicle I'm like oh okay um, so at this point I was like okay I've never heard of this before uh, and he's just like, yeah, I have a confirmation number, but uh, I went to the airport and they said that they don't deal with these. So uh, I had to come to this location and he showed me the code and I was like, okay, so, so far somewhat accurate. They don't deal with insurance uh, claims and the number had a code at the beginning, which lets us know, yes, it's specifically an insurance rental. So like, okay, everything is so... I hate myself. Everything so far on the up and up. But then he goes 
so, so I was like, hold on. So you already towed the vehicle to the airport and now you're going to bring a vehicle to the customer? I actually didn't know we did that. He's like, well, yeah, I do it all the time. And I was like, okay. Uh, well, just give me one sec because I want to make sure this doesn't have like some other paperwork that needs to be done. And I turned around and I asked like another guy. And I was like, hey, um, this guy says he's here to do a tow exchange. And then the guy goes, tow exchange? Like, I've literally never heard of that. Um, so he calls our manager. And while he's in the back calling our manager. Oh, it's time to be a dick. Oh, it's time to be a major dick. Actually, it's not even necessary. I could have used Dark Hole, but it wasn't even necessary. I would just lose my baby dragon. Um. So, the guy goes to call my manager. Um, and I turn to the guy who's trying to do this toe exchange. And I was like, so you already brought the vehicle to the airport and now you're coming to bring a vehicle for, excuse me, from here to the customer. And he said, no, 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 it's not there yet. I am bringing a vehicle from here to the customer. And then I'm taking the vehicle that I need a tow from there to the airport. And I was like, at that point, immediately, I was like, Oh my god, this stupid motherfucker's trying to steal a car. Because that's not how that works. I just got Raigeki. Raigeki is Dark Hole, but only for your opponent. Holy shit. Anywho, as I'm doing this last guy, I'll finish the story. So, yeah, I called him out on his bullshit. And I was like, no, 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 sir. If if there is such a thing as a toe exchange, I'm new here. The, like, we may very well do toe exchanges, and I'm not sure. But... I know for a fact, if we do any type of vehicle exchange, we have to... Oh, fuck you. Okay. Um, the vehicle needs to be towed to the airport. Then we need to contact the airport and verify that it's on their lot and that they have uh, possession of it. And then we can close out that vehicle and open up a new one for the customer and if it gets towed to them like that may very well be possible like i said but typically the customer needs to be here and he's like hold on let me go make a call this is ridiculous i do this all the time and he goes outside he, he claims he's going outside to make a call he goes outside and then within two minutes he gets back into like i don't even know what car this was but it's like a compact car. Like it may as it may as very well been like a Nissan Versa. It was a tiny car and he just drove off. And at that moment I'm like Where the fuck's the tow truck? Like wait a minute. <laughs> This man said he's trying to do a tow exchange and bring a vehicle to a customer and bring that customer's vehicle that needs to be towed to the airport. How is he going to tow it there if he's in a regular ass car? This man tried to steal a car. That's insane. Because if we didn't have that car in our system and we had two cars on the road and only one of them was registered to be out, the other one wouldn't have a name attached to it. <laughs> so we didn't know exactly what the game plan was here. And we were five minutes from closing 
And when we saw him drive off, we were, <laughs> we were just like, uh, well, shit. Because the problem was that the other guy that I asked about the tow exchange thing, he was like, hold on. And he went to call our manager to see if that was a thing we actually did in that I was just not informed. So when he came back, he was just like, yeah, it's too late to be doing that anyway. So just no. And then I explained, he's just like, oh my God, he tried stealing a car. And then I told that story to our area manager on Thursday, because that had only just happened like Wednesday night. So yeah, that, that theft attempt, and then that bullshit, like, how dare you put me in this small vehicle that I actually asked for. Both of those happened this week. I'm already having fun. I'm already having so much fun with this job. And like, here's the best part. If anything were to ever actually escalate, I've still got my, um, I've still got my handcuffs in my car. If we ever actually anticipate something happening, I've got cuffs. I can make an arrest, let the cops come, and then handle the consequences after that because if it's an actual like legally or life threatening thing I'm not going to get in trouble for cuffing anybody what I walk into <laughs> you walked into me talking about uh fun times at my new rental car job as a manager trainee. Wait. Attack power can be used to damage the opponent direct. Is that really? So it actually has its real ability, but it sucks. So uh, John, what are you holding onto the cuffs for? In case of emergency, I mean, I'm not going to use them for kinky shit. They're actual handcuffs. Not exactly the most comfortable thing. And I bought them. They are mine. So. HYO, 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 HYO. Well, fine. Cuff me, jackass. <laughs> we shall duel over our locator cards. Fall prey to my super insect deck. HYO, 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 HYO. And unnecessarily using Wall of Illusions as anti when he's going to give me Insect Queen. How can we be sure those handcuffs aren't your side hustle as a male gigolo? Um... Real handcuffs, not comfortable. That's all. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I, I stick by that. Listen, if I'm gonna use cuffs as a matter of kinky shit, I'm gonna go a little more comfortable than Black Smith and Wesson handcuffs. Like, that's kind of you know not the greatest, unless somebody's into that. Unless somebody's actually into the type of pain of actually being clenched up, like for real, for realsies. <laughs> um, ooh, that's not fun. I need to sacrifice immediately. Okay, we're good. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. That almost was bad. If he summons handcuff, uh, handcuff. I'm reading the chat. And then if he ha if he summons handcuff queen, I'm <laughs> that's uh, that's where we ended up with that conversation. Hoorah. All right, cool. Ooh, man, eat a bug. Imagine if that was actually an effect monster. 
Where can you even buy handcuffs? Literally anywhere handcuffs are sold. Like, I bought mine on Amazon. Yeah, this dude actually only did 300 points of damage. To Ooh, 400. I'm, I stand corrected. Unless he already did 100 and I completely forgot about that. But anyway. Um... So, I win this turn, right? Now I win. Handcuffed Dragon is a real card. Are you serious? Alright. And look, Insect Queen was obtained. There we go. So, this is actually a really good monster if you make an insect deck, but why would you want to? GYO GYO WEEH! I lost to a maggot like you! Hi! It's still fucking weird. Mime. And here's the thing, he's not supposed to move, but his lips move. For dot 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 dot. All right, can I battle Bakora? Okay, sure. Let me try out my game plan. All right, what you got? I have no idea what Bakura can give you. Ooh. He's starting off strong, huh? Oh. Like, I wanted to actually attack. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. And tribute, and go. And now we breeze. Uh, seriously, we're over two thirds of the way done this game now. That's how short this game is, and I'm playing casually. Technically, I could have already won this duel next turn if I had just attacked with. Well, no, I can still win. Wow. I, I, I just had to hope that a tight matchup didn't happen. Alright, Ken, you don't need a backseat game, fam. I, I've beaten this game multiple times in my life. I may not know some of the specifics in terms of who has what cards in their deck, such as Roland from earlier, but please. And just in general, don't backseat game. That's not, that's not fun. Don't do that. Bad, Ken. Bad. Fucking right. I love clone monsters. I think in my Let's Play this game, like years ago on my old channel, is like, I got Doron and Revival Jam in the same turn. And I just used both of them to get uh, tribute fodder, even though they were weaker than the monsters that I was fighting against. Damn. How much power do I need? So imagine if your deck was copper later, you'd have handcuffs, dragon, snipe hunter, etc. I don't know these cards. I, I, I've sincerely never heard of these cards. Penguin Knight. That's actually decent. <laughs> this area is off limits. This area is off limits. All right, hold up. I can dump a weak monster that's holding me back. I never even put Raigeki in my deck. I could totally do that. Hmm. Can 
can I afford to, though, is the question. Alright, Raigeki, and I believe Penguin Knight is less than 84. I thought that the wrong penguin. Yee! Alright, and what's your thing? Swordsman's down there, all the merchandise. You can't go in. What you're in for? I'm just joking. Uh, uh, no, no. The manager will be furious if I did. Yeah, so, yeah, if you try to duel him, he almost blurts out the guy's name. And that's the one you're gonna fight here later on. Have I dueled everybody at this point? I don't have any strength left. Wait. I dueled with Yugi, but I couldn't win. Ugh. Sucks for you. Alright, well, I'm gonna go save. Just to be safe. I can also keep dueling Tristan for more cards. Wait, what about you, Roland? We already dueled once. <laughs> well, a bad dog. L listen, we were all beaten by these guys wearing hoods. They drove us out of the graveyard. I liked it there. I liked its darkness. It fills me with anguish. How dare. Who fought my bones? All the duelists around here I've defeated. You too shall join the vanquished. The first sign of the rare hunters all game. And this is the guy that originally had Exodia and dueled Yugi. Ooh. This couldn't have been much better if I had asked. Clone Doron. Why are you not attacking, you bitch? Well. Here we go. He summoned... Ooh, okay. Yeah, um, he summoned a piece of Exodia and now basically can't win. What a dingleberry. But now, the plot advances. It's nice having the extra attack here, I guess. Does he have three of each Exodia piece? I know in the anime he does, but does he have it in the game? All I know is I've never lost to this guy, ever. Ah, Gear Golem. I can use you? Oh, well, yeah, you're a one sacrifice. Okay. Oh, but it it can't be lose to you. How how could this happen? Grr, don't forget this. And then he casually walks out. Or in the anime, he basically dies and everybody else walks off like nothing happened. You took out the ghouls? Yes, I took out I okay. I must get I must get back to the cemetery. You have my thanks. Oh darkness, my old friend. I've come to <laughs> talk to you again. And there he is. He's just big chilling. If Zodia is so rare, how can he have duplicates? It makes no sense. Well, in the anime, the cards were fake. They still worked somehow, but the cards were actually fake. But anywho, now he's beaten. Alright, Bakura's gone. Hmm, what's in the shop? Like, I was thinking about going to the shop, and then I changed my... Why is there another Blue Eyes in the shop? Ooh, Jurai Gumo. 
Talk about a good card. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely can't be used. I can use you, though. And you're more powerful than Blue Eyes. Hmm. Metal Zoa. Same power as a uh, blue but that power as blue eyes oh alternate art blue eyes wait a minute I only have the casual I it's the alternate art I want it but I don't but I do but I really don't um Okay, he can wipe out all monsters on the foe's field. Oh, so he's Obelisk without the 4,000 damage. Actually, not a bad card. And I like how Gaia, uh, the Dragon Champion, and Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon don't require fusion. They're just basic level 2 monsters. Same as Thousand Dragon. <laughs> Red Eyes, Black Dragon. This is alternate Red Eyes, isn't it? Yeah, that's the alternate Red Eyes. I mean, I, have, I can have Red Eyes in my deck for literally no reason. Only 12 cost. Go for Sword Hunt. Why? Oh, Dark Magician's in there. I didn't even notice Dark Magician, like, right there. Wait. Does the shop, like, refresh? But... First of all, who the fuck is Sword Hunter and why would I want him? Oh, Shadow Spell. Yeah, nah. You were on him when you, when you at. Was I? How was I on him? Wait. So I exited the menu. You said go for Sword Hunter. And I asked when going back into the card list, how did I ask when I was on him? Whatever the case. Sword Hunter. Why would I go for him? Literally, why would I go for him? Like, I may as well go for Dark Magician instead. Of course he doesn't have an effect. Most monsters in this effect... I'm sorry, most cards that have an effect don't have an effect in this game. So what Sword Hunter's normal ability then? Or effect, I mean, whatever. Hello, I'll stop defense. Hmm. I mean, I could. Oh, I forgot about Swords of Revealing Light. 
Like, in terms of in the game. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I shall buy three of those. Hoorah. Tremendous fire, a thousand to them. Yep. Free damage. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. And now... Uh, I mean, I got the blue eyes on purpose, but... Well... Wait, Ronan said it. Uh, in the actual game, Sword Hunter can equip the monster it beats and gains 200 attack for each. Oh. Well, of course that attack doesn't exist in this game. This game, the only effects that are in this game are effects that are used on command. So, abilities that activate in response to something don't exist. That's basically the rule of thumb here. But, anywho. Oh, I am about to do some bullshit here. All right. Mm, do I want to get rid of baby dragon? How much do you cost? A hundred? Oh, God. I. That's overkill. How much is. Ooh. 60, though? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Really? You're 72? Works for me. Let me go to save. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely need some more uh, experience. Not experience, but uh, dual. Well, yeah, dual level and deck capacity. He demands his rematch. Ah, Raigeki on the first turn. Let's fucking go. If only I had to rental. Uh, yeah. Oh. You fucking ho! Wow! Wow! This man! I took your insect queen! Not a fan of you right now, Weevil. This man actually just summoned Insect Queen on his second turn. I'm sorry, not second turn. That was his first turn. Holy shit. Yeah, if I didn't have Raigeki, I would have lost. Can I please get another monster? I mean, I don't want to make a whole insect deck like... I mean, sure, it'd be fun, but, like, you actually have to spend all the money on cards and, like, intentionally build your deck around that. But, oops. Actually, meant to sacrifice him. Eh. Huh! <laughs> Another one. Bruh. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Fascinating. I mean, it's not like I was going to win in this turn anyway, so I just wanted to be safe. All right. <clears throat> Dual Masters Hideout, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm out here suffering. Die, bitch. The Furious Sea King. Okay, I got that from Weevil. That makes sense. Can't win, can't win. I thought I could get better cards from Weevil, to be honest, but whatever. Is Super Warline... Why do you know all these cards that I've never, like, heard of, ever? Fire King, are you not only a modern Yu-Gi-Oh fan, but a hipster Yu-Gi-Oh fan as well? <laughs> Who the fuck is Super War Lion? Right, let's go. This game, as in the sacred cards, or Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole? Fuck you. Well, yeah. I've been playing since 2001 as well, but I quit because the game got ridiculous. And I didn't care anymore. <laughs> Stop linking cards to me and just explain them. I'm not clicking the links. Have you not caught on yet? If I click the link, it completely stops the game. Just tell me. Oh, it's a monster that has insert attack and defense that has this ability. Where is it? There are legendary cards here. Kaiba set up this tournament in the hopes of grabbing them, and that's why the ghouls are on their duelist hunt. H-Y-O, 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 H-Y-O. You go look for those cards, too. This isn't the end for me, either. I don't know why I never did the voice. I'm going to assemble the ultimate deck one day. And I'll knock you out. Okay, deuces. You got one of those cards? No? Okay, bye. Alright, level 7, Beast Ritual, Earth Monster, 2300 attack, 2100 defense. Again, super hipster card. Why would you want this card? A ritual monster that only has 2300 attack? Why would you want this? I I I I I I I I I I I don't know how to what? Why? If only Grandpa, like, actually had like a way to duel him. Oh, because it's a lion. So, like, did you just straight up look up lion cards? Because, like, you you have to understand why I'm questioning you, Fire King. These are very arbitrary cards that were never in the anime or not default cards in a deck in a video game. Therefore, the only way you knew these cards existed are if you collected and found one and happened to like it, or if you researched a certain category of cards and came across it. That like, those are the only two ways you can know that these cards exist. Was it featured in the- Who the fuck had Super War Lion? What series? Like, 
I... I really don't recall. At all. Hey, how's it going? What about bones? It reassures you, congrats. Don't look down at us like that. I, I had to win. We brothers, we only had our cards. Those who look down on us, those who tease us, we shut them up with our cards. Without my cards, I can't protect my brothers. True. Yes, that's how everyone looks down on us. I never did do this, surprisingly. Hey, come back! Oh, they're gone. F. During the virtual game arc after Duelist Kingdom, it was in a shop and Joey was salty because it was too expensive for them to buy. Sounds very trivial, but okay. I guess it was featured early on in the anime. It was awful. They're, they're not human. Who's they? No, please, no. No more duels, please. I don't have any more cards. If only you could duel these guys and say it's off limits. I want to do it with other people. Sorry. Is this PS1? Hell no. This is G uh, GBA. All right. What's in the shop now? Anything that I actually want to get? Dude, this blue eyes is just sitting here taunting me. Ooh, Kamori Dragon. Of course not. All right. What's the highest cost? Oh, sure, Leo Gun is in this game. Uh, when did I first hear of Leo Gun? I, I want to say that was Forbidden Memories. Oh, why'd I go back here? Still haven't had enough. Fine, I'll do as much as you want. Yeah, I want to see what happens if I duel you with the highest anti card. Oh yeah, well, he did use it against Rex. But I'm talking about as far as video games, like when it was actually like a common card you would see, like a default card pretty much. Fuck. I hate attacking defense monsters and Uh, why the hell is Big Shield Garner the one that has the most cost? Because it requires no sacrifice and has 2600 attack, which even two sacrifice monsters can't beat. Well, most can't. Hmm. Yeah, 2600 defense is strong enough to stand up against Summon Skull, Dark Magician, Rise Black Dragon, a majority of the cards in the game. Like, when you have 2600 defense, you stand up to the biggest hitters in the game. Did I say attack? Did I merge the thoughts in my head again? with what I was saying. Did I say attack when I meant to say that it stands up to some of the highest attack monsters and s instead jump to saying it has 2600 attack? I hate that my brain goes so much faster than my mouth. Like, you know the saying, think before you speak? Like, I think too fast. Anywho. Uh, I can do this, whatever. Well, 
Firekang, again, in this game, effects that happen as a result of something don't actually exist. Therefore, Big Shield Garna does not go into attack mode once he's attacked. So, you just have a monster with 2600 defense that just sits there like a wall. So that's why his cost is 532. I have all these fuck you destroy yourself monsters and he's not going to attack. You know what? There we go. Now I can finally win. Eat shit. Ooh. Well, all right. I can't. <laughs> Don't want to lose any more cards. Not I, but Mr. Underwood himself would duel you. Consider yourself privileged in duel. I mean. So like I've basically beaten everybody. I would think so too. I just don't have the talent for it. I'm going from dueling. I'll give you this card. I'm going home. Bye. Oops. I didn't mean it. I was spamming through the text. F. I. 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 I You're supposed to cheer her up. I hit B because I was spamming through the text and it actually selected with B. I don't like that that's a thing that can happen. All right, so there's absolutely nothing to do here. Nothing to do in the card shop. Fire King, I just explained myself. Shut the fuck up and we're going to continue. Okay. Would you give me a break? LOL. It's not my fault A and B do the same thing in this game. I forgot that you stay with your stupid terrain. I love these cards. If he attacks me, he loses all of his cards. If he doesn't attack me, I still destroy all of his cards. Like, I, it's a win-win. Look at that. Look at that. I'm oh a god. Oh, hello. I love cloning. Damn you. I prefer Skull Servant over Wandering Doom. Mm, why? Uh, I win. Kaiba would have done the same thing, so it's fine. No, I didn't want to do it. It was an accident. I even just was like, well, little D was obtained. Thank you, Rex, for giving me your little D. Yeah, I am strong. Yeah, right, never again. This dude's like hiding back here. One lost D was enough. I like how you just keep trying to duel everybody and they're just like, no, like, you're 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 too good. Leave me alone. Hey, 
John phrasing. Oh no. I, I know exactly what I did. I know exactly what I said. Darn you. Yo, we just starting with uh, Baby Dragon. Let's go. As we have learned, phrasing is key. You damn right. Key to comedy. Ha ha ha. Uh, well. <clears throat> Not sure how much more progress I can make right now. Like, in terms of building a stronger deck. LOL. Probably shouldn't have even done that. Probably should have just attacked flat out and I would have won. No, I remember what the king of uh the king of skull servant does. It basically gains attack. What about defense? I don't remember. But he gets stronger the more skull servants and any other card that name is treated like skull servant and other king of skull servants in the graveyard boosts its attack by like a thousand points or some shit. You again? Don't come here unless you're on business. Well, I'm on business. How you doing? You know what? I'm going to duel you again. Because I think I can actually win now. Like, easily. Yep, there it is. That's all I needed right there. Another one. Like, that's a busted ass trap. I'm surprised it's just there in the shop. You don't even need a code for it most of the time. Um, eh. Alright, so unless he has like a good light monster in his deck, I basically win now. I hate you. Stop doing that. All right, now attack me and lose health, please. Thank you. Give me sacrificial cards. Like, if I could tribute for anything right now I would just win whatever it's fine perfect duel against the robot oh, hey look I got a force raider back the same one I lost I got back <laughs> let's go <laughs> John's victory has been confirmed Yep, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, okay, EDM. <laughs> I, I just find that funny. The exact card I lost is the exact card I got back. What do I get from Trish, bleh, Tristan? Member of the Booster Club. I'm expecting big... Roar! It's time to duel. I'm basically stacking my deck at this point. Nah. So the rest of the game, I think, will be a breeze. Just because of these couple traps in Raigeki. 
Welcome back, Caitlin. And really? You going to bed at almost 11 p.m.? That's kind of early. Who are you? What have you done with my nub? Dude, where are all my good draws? This is insane. Like, I'm still getting my bit. Like, sure. I'm, I have my good spells and traps, but, like, I'm getting my basic monsters that I've had since the beginning of the game, even though I've, like, stacked my deck with new cards. Oh, yeah, you have been waking up at 7 a.m. all week. <sighs> That's all I got? Uh, whatever. Thought you would give me something better. Oh, well. Oops. Ah, here we go. I'm really just curious what I'm going to get at this point. Ah. But, like, for these antis, like, I'm... Like, the higher the cost, the higher cost you should get as a reward, but I'm not really getting it right now. There we go. And I went on next turn. I like how if you put anything in defense, they will fall for your trap 100% of the time. Yami? For the upteenth time I've fallen, Julie, you are strong. I don't think he's going to do or say anything else. Ah, I got your trump card back. No, 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 no. That was almost a mistake. Pot of greed. What does it do? What did it do? I have no idea what it did. Okay. Mm. So close yet so far. Yo, I can't wait till I actually start, like, progressing again. Because once you start progressing again, it just, like, it's a domino effect. No pun intended. And it just keeps going and going and going. Now, I actually am, like... I've dueled everybody. I dueled Weevil the three times to learn about the God cards. What else was I supposed to do? Alright, duel Bakura. I already dueled everybody here. I 
Already did everything over there. Dual Jew, dual Jew. Went to the game shop, nothing else here. Dual Joey. I forget how I'm supposed to actually unlock the next section. I do know that I pissed off um Esperoba. I don't know if I soft locked the game accidentally by doing that. <laughs> like, cause I can't duel him anymore. Like I, I scared him off. Are you staying hydrated? Here you go. So like, I triggered the thing with Weevil after dueling him a bunch of times and he's like, hey, you're going after your, like, these powerful god cards. So I piss off the girl and Esperoba, which I normally don't do. Oh, here you go. So I had to talk to that motherfucker. Or not. Hold up. Was somebody else supposed to give me a hint that unlocks the next section? with goons in the alley over there what do you mean I didn't do anything hmm oh I forgot I never talked to you again Uh, I'm gonna talk to everyone just in case something triggers. I completely forgot I never talk to that guy normally again. Wait, who you think is a water type duelist from the end? Wait, what? I mean, Mako Tsunami, but wait, what? Who you think is a water type? I mean, I don't think, I know. Not the art museum. And here we go. Word is you, you're quite a strong duelist. Actually, I was waiting for you to visit. You see, I wanted to invite you to a special show. After I had heard how good you are, I wanted to see you. Yes, I definitely wish for you to witness my show, but it's... it is too cramped up here. Shall we go downstairs? Yee. Eh, I'm not even gonna worry about you. I, I hit B! That means no! No. But yee. Saw blade time. Yeah, so I completely forgot that you have to talk to a filthy casual so that you can be told about Arcana. Like, if you don't talk to that one random guy, this doesn't trigger. And I completely forgot about that.
This duel's rule, the loser is chopped up. It's a lovely rule that makes this diabolical. I'm a member of the ghouls. Let me test your power. Ha ha ha, here I come. So that wasn't translated to our Shadow Realm bullshit. If you lose the duel, you lose your life. Hmm. Hmm. Can I have another? Maybe I can. Mm oh, that works for me. Please don't have something too strong. I probably should have attributed there. Oh. Interesting. He is not as strong as I thought he was supposed to be. He does have Dark Magician, though. Oh, he got... Oh, that's... Wait, I thought... Wait a minute. I thought this summoned La Jin. Did they only change that for this game? Also, I'm not summoning Blue Eyes right now. He's actually kind of a waste. And I know they didn't censor the game. They just translated it. Well, no, because I'm pretty sure in Destiny Board is spelling final instead of death in the game. I could be wrong. You're thinking of Mystic Lamp? Wait, then what lamp was that? I thought that was Mystic Lamp. Ha ha! You slut. Oh, okay. Yeah, ancient lamp. Okay, now, that now that's right. About ten thousand domino. Not exactly ten thousand. About ten thousand. And then dark magician. He, ha, ye ha. What? The blade. It's coming closer. Well, help me, please. The lock. Oh, saved. Gaga, Mary. So you appear to be strong somewhat, John. You've been a, you've been a impediment, a impediment, a impediment that you are grammatically incorrect, Mr. Ishtar. Don't think that you'll get off freely. This used up fool, I will dispose of him. <laughs> He's just dead now. You can't even walk back over to examine his body. He's just, he, he's just dead. Even though your character clearly walked over this before. Yep. Nope. Also, if you try going back down, nope, he's gone. Welcome. But like, it's stupid that because like, once you talk to him, there's no cancel. A and B both are select. So yeah, he died and the old card shop owner's gone. The assistant blocking the stairs took over and that's it. Huh? You'll let me duel with you? I actually have a secret deck I put together. Oh! This I legitimately forgot about. Why would you expose yourself? It's the first turn. Haha. -ha. Get fucked. No, no, no. Ah, nice secret deck. Yeah. 
and just get absolutely bodied. Dude, the only duel I'm legitimately nervous about is going to be Mako Tsunami. Because his levels kind of jump higher than everybody else's. And then he's also got the terrain bonus. And pretty much the only thing I can use to beat him is Oscar Hero number two. But even then, he's got other types of cards that can counter him. Enchanting Mermaid. I knew I couldn't beat a real duelist. You were correct. All right, so everything's done here. Now we move on to the park. I think everything's good. And you, you're the one that tells me about Kaiba on the bridge. He's just going to be there for a while. <laughs> Alright. So now I've been Arcana. I think the next plot line opens. Yep. Hello. Joey Wheeler told me of this shop. I too am a duelist. The regular customers here, they are all very strong. If I buy some cards, perhaps I will become strong also. I am sorry I must refuse your challenge. Not with my deck will I be able to defeat you. <laughs> Blarick Mischar. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He came here with Joey. I think they met somewhere and hit it off. Um, move. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all just trapped me in the corner. Uh, Malik Blistar. <gasps> and hello, Seth. Hmm. Okay, so the next order of business. Who do I talk to to trigger what? I like how salty this dude is. Calling me a cheat because I beat him. Like, what a little hoe. But yeah, I think I just got to talk to Marek, then leave, and then the new areas open up. Yep. Here we go. All right. So, yeah, remember the building? There's actually just a location called building. That's how dumb this is. But anyway, to the bridge. Worms, get out of my sight. Huh. Not even token resistance. Pathetic. You. You're Yugi's sidekick. Listen, you tell Yugi this. I'll accept your challenge any time. Got it? There's no need to wait for the tournament finals. Tell him the next time we meet will be his end. <laughs> I'm Seto Kaiba and I just beat a big booty bitch. Like, real talk. They, they gave that gathering of pixels a little too much junk in the trunk. I didn't say nobody noticed but me. But why, though? Why, why, why the booty that big on an 8-bit character? I, I, don't, I don't know. Ugh. He's too strong, said Okaiba. I've played against many other duelists, but he's in a class of his own. What about me? Wait, I can't right now. Not after that duel. Oh, well. What about you? Did you see that? The way Sato Kaiba dueled? It was total domination. Seriously awesome. You want a duel? Huh? A duel? Well, sure. I will continue use Big Shield Gardener. As anti for everything. Hmm. Can I get any card to tribute summon right now?
Thank you. And now as long as you don't summon a light monster, I win. Well, Mokuba, you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, then I guess you're not Seto fucking Kaiba. I like how the actual line for that almost sounds like an, a, an abridged dub in and of itself. It's like, if at first you don't succeed, attack him with your blue eyes white dragon again! But yeah, I'm about to go against one of the hardest duels in the game because of one specific card. Uh, yeah, no. Ah, the Penguin Knight. Okay. What do I get? Baron of the Fiend's Sword. Hmm. Haven't seen this card in a long ass time. It actually would be a decent card. Just costs way too much. So you want to go? Fine. So be it. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, go. What you got? That's what I thought. Already with this? Damn. Turtle Raccoon. <laughs> Yeah, now it's going to be a little tough to whittle him down, but... Oh, well. Not anymore! Easy clap. It's actually a little more attack than just summoning blue eyes, so works for me. <laughs> ah, I'm an asshole. Mm -mm. Um. Guy, I'm about to say I would have been so pissed if I was stuck. Also, uh, big booty girl's gone and replaced with this chick. Huh? A duel with me? Uh, uh, okay. Don't treat me as if I were just an ordinary groupie. I'm surprisingly tough. Well, now I know exactly what to call you if you lose. Oof. You, uh... Okay. All right. All right. Hey, hey, groupie, um, I didn't exactly shuffle properly, so, um, fuck you. You don't deserve the big shield Garna you're about to receive. I'm just gonna throw that out. You are not, like, you, you ain't shit. I'm, I'm upset. I'm, I'm very upset. I need Oscar Lee Hero number two now.
fuck. Wow. My beloved Seto Kaiba, he dueled here? Oh, how I would have loved to see his winning form. Mm-hmm. I lost my big shield guard now. What about my Vorse Raider? Ah! Now I get a card that can help me win. Hoorah! No, no Raigeki, no Torrental Tribute, no actual strong... Oh, now I'm getting my cards. Okay, that that's cute. Every worthless card I could have possibly drawn, I drew, but now I get everything I need. Like, this game is stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to do a little more damage. Ah. Ah. Watch you get guard in the back. I don't think that's how this works. Damn you. Oh, you fucking asshole. I was gonna beat you perfectly with blue eyes just to, like, shit on you, but... Guess that's not gonna work out now. Yeah, your beloved Seto Kaiba isn't the only one with a fuck mothering blue eyes white dragon. Neck hunter? Uh, oh, okay. Still, you're nothing compared to Mr. Kaiba. I literally just destroyed you with blue eyes. Hello. Hmm? Sure, bring it on. But be fair about it. Hmm. Fair. Vorce Raider fair? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let, oh, now I get... Okay. See, this is the starting hand I like to see. And now you can't possibly win. GG. I hate you. You actually had the defense necessary. Pot of greed. Yeah, give me another one, please. Dude, if I had actually, like, used Trent's, um, special effect, I'd be even stronger right now. But it's all right. Yeah, it's dumb that you can't use the effects after the first turn that they're in play. Ha! Salute! Oh. Eh. I mean, yeah. I can work with that. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let me take out one of these weaker monsters. What's your history with Yu-Gi-Oh? Um. 
I stopped after season... Well, halfway through season three of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX because couldn't really keep up with the show anymore. And then in the actual card game, I couldn't really afford anything else in terms of buying cards. So I just kind of dropped off entirely and stopped playing. But I love classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Little too much for me now, and I don't care enough to get back into it, but... Let's see. Did I dual use? Sorry, I don't have time for that now. I thought I'd... Looking for my little brother. He's little, but he's good at cards. So he left home on his own to enter his tournament. I've been looking for him, but I can't find him. I'm worried. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. You. Dot, dot, dot. John. Dot, dot, dot. Duel. Dot, dot, dot. I wasn't even on that side. You want a horse raider? Okay, so this is the duel where normally it was supposed to be Yugi who duels against strings to get Slife of the Sky Dragon, but here you fight and he has multiplication cards. So, for example, he just used Toadmaster to get a Frog of the Jam. He also has Revival Jam, which clothes itself just like Doron. It's literally the same thing, but better. And I lucked out with the terrain bonus. And I basically won now. Unless he uses Revival Jam, I already win. And now, even if he uses Revival Jam, I win. Mm. Okay. I 100% forgot he had that. That is way too strong for this point of the game. I mean, yeah, I have something, but I now I won't even know what it was. And now he loses his bonus. Wait, Slife for an obelisk are getting theme structure decks to make them competitive? I thought they already did. But then... Like, dropped off, like... As in, like, official structure decks that people didn't try to make on their own. I, I, I don't know. I, I could have sworn they already made structure decks for the god cards. But I guess I'm just wrong. <laughs> And I might be thinking of actual decks that people just made. But, interesting. About 10,000 dominoes attained. And there's Revival Jam, and I can thankfully use it, and I will be using it. So you meddle in our affairs again! Who are you? My name is Barrack Mishtar Blah Learn it We entered this tournament to gather cards The ultimate rare cards No mercy will be granted to anyone Following our plans I've studied how you duel, how you move You seem to have friends Well be good to them while you still can And no, I am not thinking of the GX gods. I legitimately thought that structure decks had been made for the god cards in recent years, but I may have looked at competitive-minded decks that people just made centered around the god cards, and I just thought they were structure decks because I didn't actually study it. I was just like, are the god cards even viable nowadays? Because I don't think they ever were. 
and I researched it and I found decks that would actually work and I was like, oh, okay. And then I moved on because again, I don't actually care. <laughs> um, so I am going to the building. Uh, what I want to do here, I definitely want to put Revival Jam in the deck. Hmm. Can I afford it, though? I can't afford it. Why do you all cost the same? Okay. There we go. Okay, you. Well, all right, let's have a duel then. Okay, let's go. What you got? Nice. What do I get first? Um, yeah, that's the play. The Torrental Tribute is so busted. Ugh. That's unfortunate. So I currently have a deck uh, base with the God cards. It's fun. See, I tried to make a deck for the God cards once on like the online simulator and I only won a single duel with it but it felt so satisfying when it worked and it was kind of loosely based on um, the deck that uh, a Tim used against Yugi so like it utilizes the trickies and the tricky tokens And the whole point is being able to summon uh, the god cards very quickly with uh, special summons and then being able to sacrifice the special summons instead. All right, we're actually very close to the end of the game. So... At this point, I'm gonna not battle all the random, like, casuals. I'm going to just focus on the main uh, duelist as much as I can. It's like, I'm right there. I have Mai right here. I have the team up with Yugi uh, section. I have to duel um, Kaiba for Obelisk. Like, I don't have much left before I get to the end of the game. Next one I'm going to take is from Joey Wheeler. Gotcha. So that was the story that they used. Oh, okay. Is this enough? Oh, not at all. So this is actually going to be a hard duel. Oh. What did it power up? Harpy lady. Oh. Oh. I'd rather destroy more monsters. I'll take the hit this turn. Oh, that's weird. Are you serious? That's insulting. That's even more insulting. That's even more insulting. Like, are you out of good cards? Did you just use all of them? Never mind. 
she's still attacking me with Magician of Faith, and that is pissing me off. Give me monsters! Oh my god! Give me monsters. Not the monsters I wanted, but a monster's a monster at this point. Oh my god! Okay. We come back. That works for me. Fine-na-frickin' Lee. And fuck your terrain. Oh. So you just trying to be a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. She started off with so much power, now has some of the weakest monsters in the game. Like, did she really exhaust her entire... Okay. All right. I win next turn. It's fine. Unless she uses Dark Hole herself. Whew. That was close. Wow, she doesn't even give you 10? Okay, so it only powers up Harpy's Pet Dragon. Uh, how? I lost? Y you're pretty good. I I shouldn't have gone easy on you. Easy on me. I guess you couldn't be weak, come to think. Not if you're friends with Yugi and Joey. We Dude, the fact that she keeps referring to him by full name is just like, that's going to be my last name one day. Just you wait. When he is of age. Like, they, they always kind of glossed over that fact. I don't know how old... How old is my actually supposed to be? Oh, we can meet in the final C. I have to find Joey Wheeler. Oh my god, like, she's obsessed. I did forget about this. <laughs> I had to find Joey Wheeler! Leaves. He's right inside. You fucking failure, my Valentine. Yo, John, what are you doing here? Dueling. Oh, yeah, hanging in, huh? So, how many cards did you get? What? You've collected that many already? Uh-oh, I'm lagging then. I shouldn't be wasting my time here. I better go find some dual partners in a hurry. Hey, I'm out of here. Go for it. Well, Maya's looking for you. I mean, I don't know if she's trying to fuck her play, but it's the same thing. I don't know. I just said I'm not going to duel everybody, and what am I doing? I'm dueling everybody. Have you seen Dark Side of Dimensions? Yeah, trying to make the old school Yu-Gi-Oh like relevant again? Question mark? <laughs> uh, discard, Pot of Greed. Nice. Like seriously, they all made um like, Dark Side of Dimensions basically made it to where old cards now had new versions of themselves with actual effects to make them useful. I hate the movie was like no dueling to the last 30 minutes. I mean, that's not true. Like, at all. What? Man, according to the wiki, she's 24. So yeah, a 24 year old who has the hots for Joey is a 16 or 17 year old. But we're never gonna talk about that. Oh, he is 16? Yeah, but we're not gonna talk about that. Uh. Yeah, and that was the weird thing. 
Like, I found out about that, like, immediately, but it's based on the manga where Seto actually left and never saw Yugi beat a Tem. So, like, when Yugi tells him to stay in the anime and he's like, I'm, you don't want to see me beat the Pharaoh? He's like, well, this I gotta see. And then he actually stayed around. So in the manga he actually left and never came back and then he's still hell-bent on trying to beat the pharaoh and doesn't give a shit about yugi all right damn like all these monsters that I'm never gonna be able to use. And I don't think I can actually do anything on any of these other floors right now. Oish. All these potential duelists. All these possible suckers. Hmm? Who might you be? This is a business office. Please leave. Um no, then why why did the elevator bring me here? This is a game company, but uh, how'd you manage to get in here? I took the elevator. You fucking goons. Ah, this will be a place of importance later. Duel? Oh, that card game? Okay, but just this one. Oh, that card game? And then you have a deck. Like... Ah, I finally pulled Revival Jam. And then on my first turn, I'm a god. Ouch. Alrighty. Oh, you son of a bitch. Mm. Mm. I'll do a little more damage this way. Okay, you got the Cyber Commander. You got Tristan's favorite card. Congratulations. But yeah, right. I finally pulled Revival Jam and she's got all lightning monsters. I almost used that. <laughs> ah. Still can't, like, I don't want to sacrifice my one higher attack monster for a tribute monster. But at this point, I feel like I'm going to have to. Fuck it. And that's why I didn't want to. I'm glad I saved my right gek. Why would you attack with that? She has Gear Golem, the moving fortress, and is attacking with it. I and we kill you first. Don't let you switch into defense. And now it's finally GG, unless you have a fucking wind monster.
Meh. Okay, and now, no matter what happens, there you go. Bitch! Oh, I forgot to... Mm. Discard a card. <laughs> oh, I'm so unlucky this duel. Thank you. Oh, finally. And then you have Cannon Soldier. All right, Gerd, done in. I thought I had a decent mix of cards, too. I mean, you did. You were tough. RNG was almost on your side. Let me get the fuck out of here. All right. I really need RNG on my side now. Because um, we're going to the aquarium. We need to duel and beat everyone. Nice. I got the perfect hand for the first turn of the first random duelist. Oh, man. Because these are going to be mostly aqua monsters. Or water, whatever. Hmm. And they're going to be strong as fuck. Like, everything here is water and gets boosted by the water. So, it's pretty much Oscar Hero and friends. And Doron is very important. And Revival Jam is very important. Like, those are n entirely mandatory cards. Damn you. But yeah, we're definitely approaching the end of the game at this point. It's mostly main duels from here on out. Like, once I beat all these randos, we duel Mako, we get our final locator card, then... The whole Joey kidnapping thing. We have to duel Joey. We have to duel uh, those ghouls on the rooftop. We have to duel um, Kaiba for Obelisk. And then it's pretty much just the Battle City Finals at that point. I'm, I'm like totally strong. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. Not bad. Oops. Oh, fuck. I like how Revival Jam is actually stronger than all of my sacrifice monsters. Except Blue Eyes. I almost won this turn. I only needed like 200 more attack. I don't even know why I bothered doing that. I went in that one attack. Okay. So far, so good. Oh. A decent 
monster, but not crazy. Takeshi, this kid's like being a total jerk. Can you shred him with your deck, baby? I'm gonna pay you back double punk. Prepare to take a licking. Y'all need a, uh, y'all cringe, 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 cringe couple, cringe couple. Hello. This works for me. So even if Doron's not strong enough, I go first so I get to sacrifice for something else. Wait, what? Oh, tribute. Nice. Now all your monsters aren't overpowered. All right. Ugh. All right, so yeah, it actually is getting kind of late. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and beat Mako and then cut the stream off after him. So basically part one, getting all the located cards, part two, the rest of the plot. Which, I know it's not going to take more than like an hour, maybe two, but I'm noticing the time and I'm actually starting to get a little tired. So we can possibly wrap it up uh, tomorrow and then go into the Pokemon chat lock later in the day. Can I get Torrential Tribute, please? Please. Ah, so close. There we go. We Gucci. And I win. Like, that's nice. Having a monster with almost 2,500 attack with just one sacrifice. Really? Really, Takeshi? He's seriously strong. Well, at least you acknowledge it now. Legendary Fisherman. Whoa! Epic boss monster that isn't really that epic. Darn it, I can't win. <laughs> How do you like the power of my C deck? Huh? Duel with me? Uh, okay, this is making me nervous. Yeah, me too. Hmm. No, this is not good. Do I really have to reorchestrate my deck to just have a bunch of electric types right now? Because it might be that time. Oof. Seriously, it all comes to luck of the draw, heart of the cards. Ah, fucking hell. I cannot destroy this thing. Oscar Hero or Baby Dragon? Oh, God. Um, do I survive? I do not. Dude, you got three of those? Jesus. Yeah, if I could get Revival Jam again, that'd be great. Like, Revival Jam turn one basically guarantees the win. Oh. Oh. See, I have to lose before I'm allowed to get the good shit.
And Oslo Hero could still lose to um Penguin Knight, because it's an Earth Monster instead. And uh, yeah, I'm not trying to do the abridged voices, I'm just doing something. Because the abridged voices are literally just exaggerations of the actual anime, so it's kind of what I'm doing as well. So close enough, I guess. Bad, incredibly exaggerated impressions. Basically the gist. Yay, chip damage every turn. This is the best way to duel. Finally. Please draw blue eyes next turn. Ah, whatever. Alright. I basically win now. Just for added bonus. Okay. I wonder if I could duel Joey right now. I'm honestly not sure. Oh. Well, at least you didn't use that. I'm not good enough. It's not good enough. My deck's not ready. Too bad. Simulation? Good idea. Let's try that. Okay, sure. Okay. Much better start. Okay. Hello? Oh, that's right. Joey sucks. Here we go. All right. Um... Yeah, tribute. Wait, tribute? And defend. Now we set it up again. See, this is what I need every duel. I need to bait them into a trap. Sacrifice the one card I have on the field for something better, and then I win. That's all you have to do every single duel. Gucci. All right. Oh, I got... I forgot you actually get red eyes at this point. I thought you got that when you dueled him later when he's possessed. You want to duel? Fine, we will. You're Wheeler's little pal. I'll have you squealing. You and me, we'll, we'll play for our locator cards. We're way past the warm-up stage. Yep, he's actually the last locator card duelist, so let's go. Let's see? I win. He summons whatever he wants. They all die. I sacrifice for a monster that he's not super effective against, and I win. And you know what? Chip damage. Let's go. Keep him in attack mode. So we attack, we do a little more damage, we relax, we take the hit, and repeat. Damn. Come on, I just need one more, like, no sacrifice monster. Come on, please. Ugh, come on, Pot of Greed, work with me. Revival Jam? LOL? No? Aw. 
Okay, that's fine. That's not fine. I wasn't paying attention to that at all. Whoops. Uh, I should have won in that turn. Ugh. You know what? Alternate route. Uh, the Dark Hole strategy is godlike. Legendary Fisherman, hurrah, and he doesn't even have an ability. Way to play, John. And there's the final locator card. Don't have to answer, John was gonna beat Tsunami, but it's too late now. I am with that, back to Clock Tower Square, back to the house. We're going to save the game. All right, and that's going to do it for tonight. Maybe tomorrow uh, I'll wrap up the rest of the game. Uh, I'll see what my schedule looks like for the rest of the day. Um, I might be able to do two streams, one to knock out Yu-Gi-Oh! and one to continue the chat lock, but we will see. I'm not sure. I got to go night-night. So until tomorrow, thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, bye, bye, bye. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and the exciting conclusion next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! John B. That's weird, but it works. <laughs> All right. Deuces.